Yeah, I'll put guidance on his bite. Woo! Nothing. The dog is dodging everything. Makes up a zog. <laughs> uh, you can move through a square, but you have <clears throat> wouldn't be able to reach the dog anywhere. Although, it's... if he steps behind Bolt and pulls out his spear, he could do it. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. So five foot step over, free action, drop your axe, move action, pull out your spear, stab the fucking dog. Huh. Okay. Your dog does get a cover bonus. Doesn't matter, though. Um... Look something up real quick. What a thought. Little extra damage happens to this dog. He's lawful, huh? He is lawful. He is a hellhound. Fair. And hell is a lawful evil. Devils. Yep. Yep. Uh, tell him you are 15 feet up these stairs. You well, you only got the one attack because you had to move and switch weapons and everything. Wait, tell him it's 15 feet upstairs. Yeah, he is standing on a spiral staircase. I will come back down. Not able to reach him from the table. Yeah, he kind of latched under the back of the table. You're ET in it. Yeah, I'll say you were able to get him. That's fine. Was that enough for me to, like, reach up and touch the bottom of his foot or some shit? <laughs> yeah, because you're on an elevated surface. I'll... I forgot about that earlier. <laughs> so, it, because it's still a move action to draw a weapon. Even if you only move five feet. So. Yeah. I will step down to the bottom of the stairwell and cast Bless. All right. You are no longer elevated, so I'll turn off your note. And the party is blessed. Play from the keeper, roll me a d8, please, and please roll fucking two. How about an eight? I'd take an eight. Eight works. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you, you want him to try again? Now, I'll take an eight. No questions there. All right, uh, Kellen, you're up. Yeah, yeah, that matters. Ray of uh, my cold spell. I forget what it's called. Ray of Frost. All right. Snowball. Uh, where is my spell list? You're kind of in a weird spot. Uh, you might be better off casting Kona Cold as opposed to making a ranged attack while in melee. Because that'll okay, provoke yeah. multiple attacks of opportunity. Whereas if you just cast defensively or uh, risk the attack... Go or you can disengage back. Call real quick. Yeah, it doesn't have any place to really move, though. But You can move over behind Stonebreaker and still have an angle for Ray of Frost. Oh, I suppose. So, Kona Cold, are you going to um, cast defensively? Yeah. Alright. I will need a uh, uh, Where's my thing? Concentration check. What's the DC for his concentration check? That's what I'm looking up. It's a fifth level spell. Uh, DC 25 concentration check. Holy shit, he has to roll decent. Uh, what do I need to roll? Roll a D20 and add 16 to it. Ooh. 
Right, because you tried to cast defensively, you lose the spell. Unfortunately. Great. He wasn't able to concentrate in order to cast it effectively, so he loses the spell slot. Yep. It was a sad day. Uh, this... Nathan, a D10, please. Oof. Jay, ask him roll three. Alright, uh, this thing will bite out at Bolt. That's not gonna do. Uh, Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker's gonna have an easier time hitting. Would a 24 have hit, Nathan? 24 would have hit. Because he should have had a plus one bit to his BAB because of the level up. Well, then I'll just go ahead and give you that crit damage. Because it's not. Another 12 points. All right. Uh, and then. The Sonic? Nope. And then six points of Sonic. And then he does. Which he's probably going to make, but. Uh, 17. So I oh, think he didn't make it by much. All right. So I'm not deafened. But that's certainly. It, to be fair, on a natural one is the only way he could fail because on a natural one he would meet the DC. <laughs> but it's a right. natural one, so it doesn't. Work. Right. All right. Uh, he seems a little bit harder to hit. I mean, he wasn't too hard to hit, but he's a little harder to hit. So we're gonna not do rapid shot this time. So that's a thirty-five and a thirty-two. Well, those both. Uh, Eighteen and seventeen. <laughs> 35 points of damage. Damn. You must have deadly aim on or something. I, in fact, do. Uh, uh yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. How long has it been since we... Uh, uh, roughly how long has it been since we started the original combat? For this day? About 40 minutes or so. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Gravity Bow is still active then. Got it. Because Gravity Bow is 10 minutes per level. So yep. as long as we're inside a couple hours, we're good. What? Okay, I looked at it like, wait, it's rolling 2d6 damage dice. Gravity Bow, is it active? Should All right. Be, I'm... And next up is Thor. All right. Thor is going to... You know fucking what? That breath weapon is nasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great. All right. 26 mm -hmm. against my Hutch AC. Is in fact, and I don't know if point blank is supposed to apply to this one. I don't think it... Does it apply to random spell attacks, or is it only ray attacks? Uh... Okay, I'm back. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think it applies to the damage because you're actually, like, slapping it with a big chunk of metal as opposed to, like, a ray of frost or something. So you'd get the bonus to the attack roll and the damage roll on this particular one, in my opinion. Okay, I'll take it. And then I need to make a reflex save. Yeah. DC 19. All right. His head is encased in uh, steel or something. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Reflex is not as good save. Got it. It makes his fucking uh, breath weapon and bite attack both kind of fucking sucky. And he's blinded. Yep. But if if he uh if he uses his breath weapon like that, he doesn't get a reflex save against it. 
Granted, his breath weapon probably fired. He's immune to fire, right? <laughs> yeah, it won't hurt him, but... All right. Baylor. Okay. It's a unique use because there are some creatures that the, the breath weapon can hurt. Right. And if they uh, use their breath weapon while they're encased in the steel, they don't get a fucking save against the breath weapon. I am going to go ahead and cast Guidance on board and tell them to go into full attack mode. Okay. Cool. Oh. Most importantly, I blinded the fucker, so he's easier to hit now. Tim, you're quiet today. That's what I thought. I did. I had him turned down for something at some point. So did I. All right, Bolt uh, I... just tears that thing apart and it dies. The dog's being quiet today because he broke a couple of potions already on us. Yeah. A little wet though. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I cooked the gold tub. Next time Zog breaks something, we make him drink drink it up off the floor. All right. So that uh, ends that bolt killed that. Whatever it was, Hellhound. Okay. Is there any particularly valuable parts to a Hellhound's body? Not particularly. Didn't think so. I wasn't sure if they had like a fucking fire gland or some shit that you can harvest. Cause some of those things do. Let's see. Uh, the chamber you're in is decorated with all manner of preserved hides, horns, heads, and bones of creatures malevolent and benign. An archway to the north leads into a roughly hewn chamber which stands, of all things, a bed. Uh, Man, this there, place really like to party, huh? There's nothing particularly special in any of these rooms. Here, what's going on over here? Uh, you may make me a perception check while you're over there. Okay. Second level spell, a fifth level spell, and a spell for fourth. If my tab would stop moving and just open. Oh. And now you want to be a small tab. Now I gotta enlarge it. How did that work? <laughs> It did. It, it came up in a tiny little square. Yeah. <laughs> That's disturbing. Okay, perception. There we go. All right, Zog, and you would stop reading, I assume, as opposed to... Oh, good. 29. Willem, you also see... A door to your left. Ooh. Huh. Oh, well. Is it a pen group? Hold off on that for a second, and I will see how everybody looks. Hey, how are you? You need some healing? How many people are not topped off? Uh, uh, Thor shows us down by 22 for some reason. I don't know if I... Should have healed her previously or not, but Bull and Baylor are about fifty down. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pop down a totem of healing and I'm gonna and we can all click on that. Okay. Those are do, 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 where's the totem of healing? I forget what it actually does, I'm sorry. Stomach girl nuke his way up into here away from the healing for now. Is it 
Uh, if nice you channel the 30 feet. That's a six level. I'm all to six level spells. Do, 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 do. Uh, if Talim points it out, oh, right yeah. now Talim's the only one who's aware of it. Oh, 26? Yeah, you would have seen it too. All right. Where are you? I can't remember how much the totem of healing gives you. Totem of healing. Oh, I don't know if it's uh it might be like pillar of healing. Or... Pillar. Pillar of healing. All right. Uh 2d8 plus 1 for caster level for the standard action and it lasts one round per level and every living creature adjacent to it can spend their standard action to uh heal. Or 2d8 plus 1 per caster level. So that's 2d8 plus 14. Unless it maxes someplace. Uh, it's max, max 20. 20 so so 2d8 plus 14. An undead creature that moves into the pillar takes a d6 points of damage per caster level. Please. So a max of 10d6. The irony of let's just surround this undead, drop a pillar of healing on top of it, and heal ourselves while it dies. Right. So everybody can heal for twenty-four points of healing. Whoops. I'll just well, roll another die. One per round, or once per round, we can do it, and it lasts for a round per level. All right. So I guess you guys can all bring yourself up to max at. I this mean, point. At, at the point of getting a minimum of fifteen points around. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. we can all max out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if it's any interest to anybody, these two hellhounds did have magical uh, barding. Oh, they did? They did. What's that? I, mean, I, did, I wasn't aware that they were wearing barding because I wasn't here for the descriptions. So yeah, if they have gear, and I would definitely be checking it for magic anyway. They're wearing fucking, they're wearing fucking barding. It's got to be magical, otherwise it'd burn up. Yeah. So yeah, I will uh I will uh, identify this uh uh barding that they're wearing that appears to be magical. All right. That's a 26 plus uh 7, so 33. This is plus 2 chain shirt barding. Plus 2 chain shirt barding. Yep. It's not or... like particularly resistant to fire or anything. They don't just naturally burn it off themselves. Uh I don't their skin is not like you don't take fire damage from touching them, so I guess it's not. It must be illusionary fire. Yeah. Uh, Adding it to the loot. So we got two sets of plus two chain shirt burning. Yep. Uh, for large sized quadrupeds, if that matters. Yep. Plus five hide armor, plus three leather armor. Uh, a ring of invisibility, a plus three ring of protection, and other armor. I think it's in the loot list. Yeah, I thought I James see. updated it. And a vicious great axe. Yep, a plus one vicious great axe. Vicious great axe sucks. So, so, uh, uh, what kind of armor are you wearing right now, uh, Zog? He's got a uh, mithril breastplate. Yeah, but is it what the magical is on it? I think it's plus three or something. Uh, his armor, like the plus five hide armor, only increases his AC by one. Yeah, you think that I'm going to fucking give him the or change out the armor that he's wearing? No, no, uh, no, no. 
I'm gonna yeah. fucking take the enchantment off his armor and put the plus five on it. Oh yeah, yeah that you uh, can do. Uh, so let me see. It'll either take me uh, two days or a bunch of gold, but yeah, he's got Actually, plus two mithril breastplate. To, to enchant the mithril costs more, so I'm gonna have to pay gold for it anyway. So, um. So, uh, do we have any non-magical armor that has my armor? Oh yeah, there's Master Extended Leather right there. Do, do we want to spend some time before we can move on, or do we want to move on? We have Bless active right now. That's oh, moving on. Got it. Yeah, you guys are kind of limited on spell slots unless you, like, go camp elsewhere. Yeah. I don't need to worry about it. I have two fifth-level spell slots, and that's the number that I would need. Okay, so... Well, yeah, four left. But it also takes an hour to cast the spell, so... Right. Oh, shit. So, you are fatigued for a minute. So, if you guys just hang out I mean, for a minute... 10 rounds, minute. we're gonna... By the time I'm done identifying the armor here. Yeah. We've got it. For and we went through the, minutes, the healing so. of the light well. You're, you're fatigued, Scott. Yeah. You do not. Oh, that's the that's the spell that I need. I knew there was a second level spell that I wanted desperately. It's basically an empty closet. Holy well, banner find. Uh, Baylor finds a door that leads to a hallway. Oh. After I put down the <laughs> nice bigger. Healing, after I put down the healing well, I let them all know about the door on the left. Okay. Now I've no half walk I haven't. Uh, it is a perception check to search for traps. Nope, no traps as far as you can tell. You, you sure you don't want your rogue to uh, go in there and check for traps? Yes. <laughs> like I could have, I could have opened the chest and everything earlier. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's gonna set a tra trap off, let me do a barbarian. I mean, I guess I say it's my traps for later. But... Just don't go on. Rogue, just don't go under greater invisibility and set up a trap. No one will hear you hit the ground. <laughs> just <laughs> let you know that. Ha ha ha. Alright. Uh where which way is everybody going? Through the secret door? Alright. So Zog, you see down the left hallway to the, your left, eight doors. Then this is the part where I get to be really happy about the new second level spell that I got. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Just empty rooms. <laughs> so far, they're all just a bunch of empty rooms going up and down. Nathan, you want to see my cool new spell? Sure. I get two attacks around now. Nice. 
All right, the dog, hold on. You got to wait for everybody else for a minute. Because if you trigger a trigger combat, like, <clears throat> everybody's going to be all over the map. Yeah, I want to see Zog just try to kill somebody by himself. Let's see what happens. Zog can kill people by himself often. Especially if you're Zog. Where Which way did Zog go? He's over here, roughly. I don't know if you can see my thing. But... I can see the ping, yeah. There's Zog. Who's a good boy? Not Zog. He's in a bad Tell him and bolt around the same square and it's bothering me. No, Talon was a Talon and Bolt were on the same square. That happened twice. <laughs> Great minds think alike and all that, you know. Oh, <gasps> I could totally take that spell. Record all mutations. Okay with it. Hey, Nathan, I have to know if you're okay with that spell. What's the Nathan. spell? Hey, I don't know. Nathan, I'm I'm sending you a link in Discord. Okay. I need to know if you're okay with the spell so that I can maybe add it to my list. Is it broken? <laughs> Only a lot. <laughs> Only a lot. And over the team. That's great. I think it might be a little too powerful, honestly. But then again, given what it is, I mean... Uh, no, honestly, you up, we're good. It, it, it only gets one successful use before the, if when it when it goes off the spell discharges. So, uh, so you know, can decapitate to one, one quarter your, one caster, quarter your level. caster level max five. So, so that'd be three currently. Let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, three. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. I'm cool with it. Uh, I I have a I have a fancy new thing for Zog now. It has to be a slashing melee weapon, it, which would be fine for Zog. It's All going right. on the axe. You know it is. It can go on whatever axe you want it on. Doesn't actually matter. All right, Zog. I need you to make a perception check. Oh, okay. Gargoyles. Oh, no, can you get to the red dot? Can you get the red dots? <laughs> Just a second. deal with the gargoyle. You know this. I'm not putting anything on your X currently. But I will be. Do, 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 do. But I will be. Did you trigger initiative yet, Doc? Uh, he did. I just need to determine if there's I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the light. It's getting a little dark. I didn't put it in there. Oh, come on. All right. My character gets a surprise round. There we go. Oh, that's just open. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. 
Oh, dagger. Ugh. Tell him when we thought he was going first. I take it Zog's the only one that gets a perception check against this stealth check. Yes, sir. Okay. What? Oh, I was playing Eco, but I wasn't actually at the computer or online. I was uh, off putting up the Christmas tree. Ah, gotcha. See, I need Bolt and Baylor, and I think we're good then. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a world building game. It's a. Uh, it's a so sandbox kind of like Minecraft, but not as sandboxy as Minecraft. Um, and they call it Eco, which is just E-C-O, which is short for both economy and ecology. I was thinking you were playing Echo to Dolphin for a second. All right. In the surprise round, <clears throat> my character, so there looks like there's a statue standing over here, and it comes to life and will charge out at you. At a plus two to this attack roll, it only gets a single attack, but... So, the first claw... Oh, this is well. against... Oh, you have uncanny dodge, don't you? Alright, uh... Just a second, let me make sure I got everything... So that is a 25, which will hit your AC, for, uh, you will take 5 points off this, so 19 total points of damage. Uh, it's 19, I've already subtracted out the 5. And you are... Uh, bleeding. Not bleeding. No blood. No blood. Uh, and then you take another five points of ble bleed damage. And I just... Uh, let's see. Then I forget what this ability does. Yeah, Tins spread out upon each other is considered flat for the two rogue, even if they... Okay. okay. Yep. All uh, right. So that was his turn. Uh, Kellen, you are up. I'm sorry. Your fucking gargoyle is a goddamn rogue. He's a rogue. Jesus fuck. <laughs> uh, With a lot like that. Which is the enemy? We're gonna die. Uh, there is an enemy you can't see unless you run through all your other that people. Is... But okay. So do I hear Zog yell out in pain? Oh, yeah, he would have yelled out getting just slashed by this claw. How tall is this healing? Oh, damn it. Nathan? What's up? Can you add a turn for Stonebreaker? Because I fucking apparently still had Thor clicked on when I rolled Stonebreakers. Stonebreaker's supposed to be at 2204. Thor's supposed to be on 11. Yeah, that's just okay. Add turn. 
And he is at 22.04. Yeah. And Thor is at 11 something. 11 even. Thor doesn't have an initiative bonus. All right, we're good. So, ceiling. the ceilings are 10 feet. It's not saying it's too small for fireball. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I was also thinking to cast fly on myself and fly up. Yeah, tempo ceilings isn't going to leave you much room to fly up. Yeah, that's what I was... Uh, how much movement would it take me to move through everybody? So, moving through your allies doesn't slow you down at all. So you could move up there with... 25 feet of movement would put you right here. Okay, can I move up? Can you move me up there? Yep. Well, they would too. Both. And then yeah. I'm going to cast... But... I want both. Other way. Uh, yes. What should I... Yeah. You might be better off just stabbing him with your sword for the moment. Oh, yeah. Instead of casting a spell while you're standing right next to him. There's not jelly on his hands. A 24 will miss your target. Uh, There's jelly for demons. Stonebreaker. It's going to be hard to hit, guys. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. I can't even get in there because of where he's at, can I? Not easily. I, can, I can see him just around the corner, but not well enough to get a shot by the time I move back here. I'm going to have to double move back to here, because I get up there and realize I don't have anywhere I can go. <clears throat> so I, I get up about where fucking Balor is, I see that he's right there, and I go, oh, I can't really go any further, and then I back up. All right. Um, can I... Yeah, I double move, so that's all I can do this turn. Okay. Uh, tell him you're up. I will. Do, 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 do. Well, it doesn't get to move without it being oh, turn. Oh, my bad. I have my thing scrolled down. I'm moving okay. this way. I know I provoke right there, but I'm moving over there. All right. That Maybe does provoke an attack of opportunity, as you said. Let me see Maybe. if I have something. All right. I will reach out with my claw to try to hit you. Okay. That is a 33 to hit. That does hit. Uh, I don't think I get any sneak attack damage on that because I'm not flanking or anything. So only five points of damage, which your stone skin should reduce to nothing. All right. And then I will hit prayer. Okay. Nice. That gets all of us then, yeah? Yeah. So that's a 40 foot radius. Yep. Sounds right. Yeah, we have yeah, plus. And then I have the debuff to prayer. When. The last yeah, combat. It was right before we killed the last uh, of the demon dogs. Devil dogs, sorry. Not demons. All right, uh, tell him cast prayer. What does that do? It gives you a bonus to your attack rolls and damage Go rolls. Check. Back saves and, and, spell, and checks. spell checks. It's a pretty sweet buff. Uh, okay. Next up is this guy yet again. And because Zog still hasn't acted... You're still considered flat-footed to me. So oh, I'm wow. going to full round attack Zog. Uh, 
All right, so the 27 hits. So that is uh, 21 points of damage from the one claw. So, uh, no, that's that was what I rolled against Talum. So, 21 points taking your DR into account. 21 points from... Thor is going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Did they technically leave here? Somebody else's range? Uh, a five foot step does not provoke. That's why a lot of people take five foot steps. Because yeah. you can maneuver then without taking attacks. That's pretty much the only thing that wouldn't provoke is that. Uh, or anything that's uh, a swift action. Yeah. Uh, I am going to so wait he's so, right next to the dog right now right no he's not oh cool uh so that was 20 feet of movement 25 30 uh it's gonna be a double move to get me to here all right and then I'm going to swift action, uh, use my uh, resonance to teleport Stonebreaker to right here, next to me. All right. Next up is Bolt. Okay. Do I need any agilities? To get there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you either need to roll acrobatics or you can risk the attack of opportunity. Or not both. He's got enough movement, it doesn't cost him anything to roll the, the fucking acrobatics. Uh, acrobatics. That is not enough, but I don't have an extra attack of opportunity. A four. A 17. Yeah, because you guys get... have the improved uh, outflank, you would be within five feet of being in flank, so it would count. Yeah, if you five foot step up to him, you'll be uh, in flank. And Baylor. Seeing how bloody my friends are, I'm going to go ahead and turn on bolts fast to him for 10 rounds. Okay. Are these stairs that we're standing on leading up or down, Nathan? They lead... I don't know. Good question. Uh, what room are you in? Alright. Uh, I will say... I didn't roll them into initiative, but... Uh, you also hear screaming coming from the cell, like Bolt would be able to see it over here. These are like prison bars. Yeah, I can see the bars on the map. Seems to be somebody uh, on the other side of those bars. Uh... Um... I'll say they go up. Okay. And there is a, like, this is a low balcony overlooking a 
I probably put the wall in there, but there's a like a fighting pit over here. Okay. Look. So. Uh, that's for the, uh, Baylor. You activated fast healing. Yeah, I'm bolt. And that's it. Mm-hmm. That's All my right. standard action and move. Uh, Zog, you're up. Okay. Okay. Prayer and bless. Yep. Uh, yeah, 39 plus whatever will hit for 48 points of damage. The 28 will hit. Natural 1 will miss, and you're not hasted. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, you take 5 points of bleed damage. Yep, your temporary hit points are also... Always depleted first. Uh, Kellen, you're up. Uh, how do I turn on Bless and all that? Oh, uh, just a second. Let me find your character sheet and I'll help you out. No, I've got my computer. I just, I don't know where it's all. We'll get it up. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have any of the buffs set up. Just a second. So bless. Oh, maybe you did. I'd find it hard to believe you didn't have. All right, well, here's prayer. And then we'll add bless. Good. Uh, good. All right. So there you go. You're all set. Okay. I will move over so I can get sneak attack. Okay. So here, I guess. All right, you move over there. And then rapier. All right. That uh, does not confirm. And because you do not have four more rogue levels than the gargoyle, you do not get the flank, which means you don't get the sneak attack. Damn it. But you do hit it for 13 points of damage. Jesus Christ, it's fucking level 11 or higher? Uh, it's level 10, but he's multi-classed oh, okay. yeah, a bunch of times. Yep. So... Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Which means that Zog can get the flank, but nobody else can. And then Stonebreaker. Okay, uh, Stonebreaker is going to simply ka -chunk. 31, uh, 28. Uh, 31 and 28 both hit. Uh, 18 you and 5 fire, 17 and 3 fire. Do you overcome his DR? But that is 18, 23 on the first one. And 19 on the second attack. 20 on the second attack, 17 and 3. Oh, yes, sorry. I don't know how forget. I always forget your blank, point blank. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the fact that you managed to forget it on only the second attack. You added it on the first attack. Yeah. Uh... Tell him. You're up. At least he can't go anywhere. Well, I he can't go much of anywhere. That's for sure. On myself. Yeah. Actually, I got, instead of rolling stealth, I got to take a 20 on my stealth, which means it would have been like a DC 40 something. 
I cast Sanctuary on myself. Sanctuary? Good call. All right. That'll last 14 rounds. You are sanctified. Next up is this gargoyle. As a full round action, I am going to use my uh, dazzling display feat. Your what? Dazzling display. display. Ooh, dazzling display. Okay. So I need to make an intimidate check. The DC. I need to look up because I don't remember how to calculate that. It's like your wisdom modifier plus 10 plus half your character level or something. Not a feat I use a whole lot. All right. So the DC is 10 plus your hit dice plus your wisdom modifier. So that's at least a 24, and then each of you need to figure out what your wisdom modifier is. What my wisdom modifier is? Yeah. So I don't know your character like scores. Oh, that's right, because so. he has to make the check, and we we do the DC for yeah. each of us. So <laughs> 24 plus wisdom modifier for all of us then? Yep. So, Kellen, you're a DC 25. So now, well, let me roll my Three, intimidate uh, check, see if it even fucking matters. There's a 26. I didn't hit the minimum to get any of you, unless one of you has like a negative four wisdom modifier. So, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, Stonebreaker and Thor are both DC 26. All right. Uh, Thor, you're up. Okay. Um, that's going to be Thor, right? So the reason I did that, just to show you another cool feat that this guy has. Does he get benefits out of fucking having us dazzled? Yeah. Offenses. Yep. You treat anybody with the shaken condition as flat-footed. <laughs> So I'd get my sneak attack on literally anybody who failed the uh that I intimidated. Right. That's a good play for a fucking uh yeah. rogue. Alright, so who's up? Mm -hmm. Thor. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to debate how I wanna go about it. what I wanna go about doing here exactly. You there's no modifier? Yeah. Your wisdom modifier is a plus one. Yeah, I was about to say. Do, do, do. The only one that might have been affected is Bolt, but I don't think he's affected still. Is how many hit dice does Bolt have? Uh... Oh, that's right, because Stonebreaker only has 11 hit dice. So his his DC is lower. Uh, twenty uh, twenty three is Stonebreaker's DC. Four. Okay, twelve. You have twelve hit dice, so that's DC twenty two. I still couldn't hit bolts. Most of wisdom's real low. Uh, plus one. All right, nope, bolt's fine. So, bolt and Stonebreaker have the same DC. Yep. Bolt has an extra hit dice. Stonebreaker has an extra wisdom. I am going to check a couple spells to find out. I uh, what's the knowledge check of this guy? A knowledge check? Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, okay. What kind of knowledge? knowledge. Nature. Nature, really? Okay, never mind. I can't do another check on this guy. I will be back. My 
let's do so it depends on the type of creature it is so yeah, it's, it's the creature type that's this is a monstrous monstrous humanoid so therefore it's an allergy nature check what kind of weapon is he using he's using natural weapons <clears throat> claws and a, he's got a bite attack and a gore attack okay uh we're gonna go ahead then and uh i'm gonna cast scorching ray okay And you have, uh, fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Well, not for one, misses. And you have, uh, precise shot. I do have, yes, precise shot and play my car. Okay. And, uh, do I just have my icing on my hamster's belt? Which are the same color? I forgot to double check that. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of those because I didn't up my BAB. Actually, I had two to them because you're in point blank. Oh, well, yeah. So a 31 against my touch will definitely hit, including any armor or cover bonuses Bolt provides for 15 points of fire damage. I have precise shot, so I shouldn't take a penalty for Bolt, do I? Bolt still provides some cover, but you don't take a penalty for shooting into melee. Okay. Uh, and then... The 14, the 14 will miss. Uh, next up is Bolt. Tell him, you can tell this guy is on his last legs. <coughs> With your death watch eyes. Let's forward all that. You do not get a plus four to all that. I cannot be flanked unless Bolt oh. has at least 14 levels in Rogue. Oh. Well, if he's got... You have to have 14 levels in a class that gets uncanny dodge. The ability specifically says Rogue. Yes, but the errata says any class, because the Barbarian ability also says Barbarian levels. And they're the same ability. Mm. The errata says that the, uh, any class has uncanny dodge. Okay. Uh, but I will take your word for it. <clears throat> uh, but without having that, none of your attacks will hit a uh, Baylor. Hmm. Doo -doo. I cast Guidance on Zog. We cast Guidance on Zog, okay. So, you have to specify before you roll which attack roll you're going to add a plus one bonus to. And I think it's a morale bonus, so... I don't know if that even stacks with prayer, but it may not matter. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, yep, you take him out with your first swing. Competence bonus. Okay, competence bonus, then it would stack. Uh, let's see if he's got anything worthwhile to mention. He does. Uh, he has a magical armor, magical amulet, and a magical ring. One second. Uh, yeah, we're out of initiative. Okay, so... 
You said armor ring and what? Armor, amulet, and a ring. This is plus four studded leather armor. Okay, amulet 34. That is a plus one. Uh, natural armor. Plus one amulet and now. Forty-two. Ring of protection plus one. He put all his money into his armor, apparently. Well, apparently. Would have been better off if he'd gone with only a plus three armor and put extra money into getting a plus two heavy and a plus two ring. <laughs> On the bright side, though, we now have another set of plus four armor, so... All right, uh... Here too. Zog! Unless somebody does something, Zog is actually bleeding, so somebody needs to stop his bleeding, or... Oh, Zog, Zog is... I had him a tampon. He's taking five points of bleed every single round. Do, 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 do. All right, I think I see a box of tampons in one of the room. I uh, walk up to Zog, and Alan is trying to intimidate. <laughs> uh, tell him you can stop the bleeding with your DC, with your twenty-five heal check. Yeah, so. he's he's taking enough damage to make this worth it, though. I'm gonna spend a charge from the wand. Uh, and Zog, you will heal another four points of. Healing. Hey, that healed back one around to bleed, okay? Alright. Uh, we'll end the initiative. Oh, this is some crazy shit. <laughs> uh, because this is a poorly designed map, and they didn't put a door to get there anyway, I need to look at the light layer. What? You can see it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> the hell? Uh, I forgot to add that to the token layer. There is somebody in that prison cell that you see. Okay. Well, what is in that prison cell? A person. And a person. Uh, a person that looks roughly like that. Alvin? Afo? Uh, let's see. Looks a little Alvin. Alvin female ish. Could it be a Alvin gnome. Female. Maybe. Uh, we know there was a gnome because he'd be a short person. Let's see. This is. Uh, if anybody wants to make a knowledge local check, they may. Ghost. Well, first I make a perception check. Uh, knowledge local is not a great skill for me, but it's available. 19. 19. All right. This is a human. Uh, but this is a rather famous person that you are kind of aware of. Uh, she is uh, a famous actor and singer. Is this the one that uh, you were looking for? It is, in fact, the one that you were looking for. Okay. Side quest. Okay, so, uh, I... Is there a door on these bars, or are they just bars? Does it uh, matter to you? I will say that there is a door somewhere. It that you doesn't can matter to me. I just want to know whether or not I need to take the point out of my fucking ability usage for the day. 
It wouldn't make sense because there'd be no way for them to get her in there without a door. So there's a door. Yeah, because, you know, not everybody has my abilities. Anyway. I mean, it could be like, a, there could be a lever somewhere that drops some of the bars down into the floor or up into the ceiling or some shit, too. You never know. You know? Right. Uh, anyway. If it's easy enough to figure out, I figure it out and I fucking open the door. Uh, Does she appear to be hurt with my uh, 28 perception? 28? Mm, I, she doesn't seem to be doing great, but she's not grossly injured or anything like that. Like, she's not bleeding profusely yet. Okay, well. But there are uh, torture devices and bloody implements all over the room. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Uh... I'm going to say, uh, Miss Ilata, we're we're uh, willing to take you with us if you will, or if you uh, wish to be rescued. Yes, please. I need to. What? No, no, no. I don't I, know. Let's place this. It, it, he did say that she's bloody, so. Yeah, she's covered in. Blood. It might not be her blood, but... That's not untrue. Right. That's fair. Uh, I will go ahead and... Kaboop. Okay. You heal her up. She seems to be... It's not a whole lot. Better. Okay. And then, uh, uh, okay. What else do have we? We haven't explored everything in here, right? You have not. Okay. There's the hallway over. My, my, glitch, or my, my map glitched a little bit, so I can't see what's supposed to be covered and what's not right now. Oh, yeah. So you haven't been in this room. You haven't been down what this are all these hallway. Little fucking tiny rooms around here. I saw some of the doors were open. So, Zog opened a bunch of them. This castle, palace in general, it just has a bunch of tiny little rooms that, like, half of them aren't even in use. They're just all over the place. Okay. Uh, there's no way for me to bring it up in the game, but I'll give you a little bit of lore. Uh... The palace has certainly earned its nickname, the House of a Hundred Doors. In fact, the palace has well over a hundred doors, many of them secret. Uh, so basically, like, some crazy wizard designed this place and just built a shit ton of doors. Yeah. Right. Win Winchester. Yeah, the Winchester. Yeah. So, so, uh, so on my twenty-eight perception check, looking around to see, you know, what was going on around here, did I see any secret doors in this room at all? Uh, yeah, I'll say there's a secret door next to where Talon is because I deleted part of the map. Yeah, I kind because... of that based on the fact that it just kind of randomly opened up across the wall, and I'm going wait, what? Because it's poorly designed, and they didn't put a door there, so I'm like. There's meant to be a well, secret door in there, I think. Well, they didn't mark it on the map either. I'm like, I don't even know how people get over there. So, well, I don't know. You Maybe get you can there. get there from the stairs. I suppose you could, but right. anyway, so, so I see the secret door. We crack it up and we go check it out. All right, you go in here. This is the armory. Empty racks of weapons and armor decorate the walls here. A large closed cabinet stands to the east, while a pair of barrels filled with bundles of arrows stand to the west. Uh, I will tell you just what's in here without you rolling, because it you'll be able. Are the bundles of arrows like anything special, or are they just regular arrows? So in this room, you have two suits of plus one full plate. Okay. Uh, I don't have the list open. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, two suits plus one full plate. That's off the fucking heavy. Uh, a plus one chain shirt. Six masterwork rapiers. Six masterwork rapiers? Yep. Okay. Two plus one composite short bows with a plus two strength rating. Okay. Uh, two plus one great swords. There are also 500 arrows. Not worried about regular arrows. 50 cold iron arrows. That I am. And 50 silver arrows. No. Cold iron is a type of material. Yep. It's needed for overcoming uh, fey uh, standard uh, damage resistance. Yeah, you've got Fabian. You're fine. Okay. Not everybody has that sort of talk. <laughs> Alright, 50 cold iron arrows, 50 silver arrows, 2 plus 1 grazers, 2 plus 1 composite short bows, 2 plus 1 full plate, a plus 1 changer, 6 masterwork rapiers. Yes, sir. Okay. Add it to the list. Figure out how we're going to cart it all out of here later. Alright. Dog, you're no longer bleeding. Mm -hmm. I assume the Feybane sword is actually a cold iron sword, right? Well, it counts as cold iron against Fey, yeah. Does it? Okay. Oh, yeah, because it gets the extra plus two, doesn't it? Yep. So it counts as a plus four weapon as a Fey. So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we got a wand of healing going. Right. I've only got uh, eight charges left on that one. At this point, prayer is going to wear off, at the very least. Bless will still be going. Yeah, because prayer's only rounds per level, right? Yep. What's the duration on shield? Minute per level. I took it off for you because I had your character sheet open. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, wait, it's the same day. Would my shield still be active? No, shield doesn't have it. So. It points at healing. No, that's uh, plus five. Are you using a first level spell slot to heal him? Yeah. Plus, nine, plus another 12. You gotta be running low on first level slots at this point. And then. Yeah, just to use the last of them. Uh, that's another 10. So. I've got four first level slots left. Where would you guys like to go from here? Those are barrels full of arrows. These are stairs that overlook a fighting pit, which when you if you get to the fighting pit, I'll delete the walls so you guys can see, but there's other stuff that the walls need to be there for at the moment. So the stair that Talon was at, those go back up to that other set of stairs that you found earlier that were in that like one random room.
So instead of me switching you back and forth from maps, I'll just tell you where it, it headed. Can, can I like go up here and, and look out over the fighting bit like this? Yeah. You see, let me give you a description. This chamber widens out to the west into a bowl-shaped cavern, the walls of which are caked with thick sheets of ice. Okay. And it is a... a frozen floor as well. So, Ice Climbers Arena, question mark? Could be. <clears throat> the 10 bucks that's covered nice because that was what they were using to fight off the hellhounds. So right now it appears empty. <clears throat> but you haven't found the room and the door into the actual chamber, so Those stairs just lead to, like, overlook it. I'm going to leave Stonebreaker up here to overwatch the uh, fighting pit for the moment. Okay. I'm thinking we need to go head, head on back to uh, where we fought them hellhounds. Which way did we, like, come in to get down here to where we're at? You came in through these secret doors. You came down this spiral staircase to get down here. Okay. Uh, the room to the north is just like a closet thing. Another one of the fucking five foot square rooms. Yeah. Where'd you go? Back to where we fought the hellhounds. Okay, I'm still within 100 feet of somewhere here. Dude. So Zog, Thor, Baylor, some Kellens following behind at some point. Sorry. All right, roll perception. Uh, <laughs> you hear the sounds of a couple of large creatures pacing back and forth behind that door. <laughs> Not that you're aware of. You want me does to the check? Door look like it's, it's not designed to open from the inside. It does not look like it's designed to open from the inside. That was my guess. Let's see. Prior to opening this door, knowing what we uh, saw recently. Before anybody gets around opening this fucking door, I would like to uh, walk up to Zog and ask him what kind of weapon he wants to use right now. You're going to use your Warhammer? Okay. I poke his Warhammer and give it cold damage. <laughs> You want to give now, it? I'm gonna give it the uh, frost burst. Icy burst. All right. Because I'm 11th caster level, so that's what I give now. Yep. Also, uh, also uh, interesting point to note that since I am now 14th level, Stonebreaker no longer has a flaming uh, property. Okay. It's now flaming burst. Nice. Yep. 
that is on top of all the other damage you deal. I'll don't worry about it. I'll figure out what you need to add. So God damn. It'll only be a D6 on a normal hit. It'll be uh, bigger. On a, big hit. If you crit, we need to worry about it more. But No. No. But it does extra cold damage on a crit if you crit. So. The, the, the deafen thing is only the thundering. Oh, that's right. You have the thundering already, don't you? I, I acrobatics the door open from the side. Mulvane is a thundering warhammer. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, you'd be able to open the door from there if you wanted to tell him. From the side, okay. Oh. Do you want me to? Oh yeah. Go for okay. it. I'll move out of the way for that. If this damn thing will load. Oh, oh, damn it, Nathan, I was wrong. It's 15th level that it goes up to Flaming Burst. Ah, so one more level. Yep. You're getting close, though. Alright, so if you're, uh, that'd be a perception check from you, Kalen. Perception check. Uh, as far as you can tell, there are no traps on this door. Yeah. So, it's yeah. either really well hidden, or there's no traps. But, in game terms, there's no way that you guys know. All right, you've opened the door. I want kitchen. I want to... Let's go ahead and roll some initiative. Hey, count in front of yours. Yeah, they're my kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're my cousins. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I want to tame one, though. That'd be cool. Look, Baylor, they captured your god. No, my god's safely at our castle. <laughs> These are merely imposters, and they must be destroyed. There can only be one. All right, I I think that I want to leave my character up to you guys. What class I play? The seventh for the seventeenth level character for. Uh... But it's gonna be either gunslinger, uh, investor. What is it, gunslinger or something? Gunslinger, brawler, investigator, or is the last one. Can I choose Blood Rager for you and call it good? Blood Rager, okay. <laughs> the seventeenth level. Seventeenth uh, level grapple caster is amazing. Okay. Okay. So, so the blood the Blood Rager is half barbarian, half sorcerer. Yeah, somebody explained that to me earlier. <laughs> but there is a way to build it where you grapple things in order to cast spells on them. <laughs> no, attempting to calm the animal is going to be an action. No, <clears throat> technically, you need the wild empathy feat or ability to alter its... Uh, Attitude towards you, and then handle... If you like to handle animal, it has to be Balor. Yeah, handle animal would be a standard 
action, yeah. which you would have to do to uh, at least an indifferent animal. These creatures are not currently indifferent towards you. So this guy will five foot. Oh, you know up. I got to meet. And he's going to attack Zog. Zog, you're not currently raging, so what is your AC? 25. All right. So that is the 24 will miss. The 33 will hit for 11 points of damage to you. Does a 38 beat your CMD? You are all n also now grappled. Are you so sure? The grappled condition. <laughs> My connection to the server's been interrupted. I'm going, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Nothing's happened yet. And then finally. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. You're not grappled, huh? <laughs> And neither am I. It's just Zog. I forgot he had that. And then I will, uh... 29 for another 12 points of damage to you. Cat done made you into a scratch post. Actually, I wouldn't have had to five foot step. I could reach you from where I was. As you try to bite him, and he slips out of your fucking claws, and you're like, wait, what the fuck? Uh, well, then, because I do have 10 feet to charge, I'm going to pounce on Kalen. Wait, 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 wait. How? What? How did the fucking tiger take a five foot step up and then five foot step back? I didn't have to five foot step. I could attack Zog from where I was. I didn't have to you actually five foot step. I can't tell where the wall is with all the tokens. Just a second. Uh, no, I would have had to five foot step up. Uh, this guy, I guess, is gonna just. Well, actually, I guess that door does look like it's both of those squares, doesn't it? A little bit. That's. But... Yeah, man, I hate doors like that. Yeah, I'm gonna say I had to five foot step up, which leaves this tiger not a lot of room. So, I will, I guess, ready in action if somebody comes within reach of me. Uh, Stonebreaker. Okay, uh, Stonebreaker is just chilling over there and therefore delayed. Uh, Zog. Intimidate is a standard action. Alright, so you're just attacking the guy in front of you. Uh, that will hit. Uh, you're not raging? No, you, you forgot to rage, you forgot to rage. Yep. So you actually take a minus two to every roll on here. Because it's only a plus five weapon while you're raging. Otherwise, it's a plus three. So that is a 27 plus. Still hits. Right. All right. You took your three attacks against him, and that is your round. Uh, did he hit with those attacks? He hit with all three of them. Extra d6 cold damage on each of them, because I fucking gave him cold damage on his hammer. Oh, yes. You're right. So, and then an extra nine points of cold damage. That equal out to 18, or still just nine? Okay. Rolled nine on 3d6? That's fucking... Yeah. Uh, Thor. Uh, 
I've got to refresh my page because it died. It died, died. Awesome. So half a second to pop up the first sheet. Can, uh, you know, fucking what? We're gonna just do this the easy way. <coughs> We're gonna yeah, I could do that, but I don't want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull out my bow. There's a longbow attack. All right. Uh, which one are you attacking? This one, probably? Uh, the one furthest back, yeah, probably. All right. So, plus one to all those. Yep. All right. So, the first attack hits for 10 points of damage. And then I'm going to swift action uh, teleport Stonebreaker over here next to me. All right. Take me a second to get him around over here. <laughs> uh, Kellen, you're up. Teleport over there right there. I will look in the room and cast Fireball. In the very fucking back corner over here so that it reaches none of us. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just, I'm looking at the room, going, it's a 20-foot room. That is perfect if you hit it. In the All right, room. so DC 18. Both save Fireball. for 14 points of damage each. It's not bad. Yeah, it's still it's not... 28 points of damage you did total. A little underwhelming, but it's not too bad. Uh, Baylor. Yeah, you rolled a lot of ones and twos on that fireball. <laughs> three ones. Two, three twos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Six of his ten dice were two or less. I uh, will cast uh, Guidance on Zog. Alright, you cast Guidance on Zog. Bolt! I assume both of those cats are still alive. Yep. Uh, and I can't overrun to get in there, can I? I mean... You don't have to overrun if you go through Callan Square. You're just going to trigger a possible attack of opportunity. Yeah. That 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 door is wide enough here. You can you don't have to overrun to get through that. I wouldn't think. No, you could just walk through there. If he was large, you'd have to overrun to get through there. Mm. Right, so Bolt gets in there. Uh, it will provoke two attacks of opportunity, unless you wish to acrobatics. Do, 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 do. That it will not succeed. Can you go all the way over to the other cat? Yeah. And the cats have 10 foot. Oh, no, the cats only have 5 foot reach. So it'll only provoke once. My bad. All right. Uh, this thing will bite out at you. It's a 29 to hit. The mighty cat has taught Bolt well and avoided his attack. All right. Uh, all right, Bolt, you get a single attack against 
I don't know which one you want to attack, but... The one in the back. I... Actually, that one held an action and gets a free attack. Because you came in range. Oh, yep. That is a you... 32 to confirm? I use uh, immediate action to dismiss my stone, sc stone iron skin. Okay. Make it a normal attack. Right. You I take believe. 16 points of bite damage. And does a... Uh, bolt is grappled. <laughs> That's a natural 20. It can to grapple you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So that's going to be my grappled to help me remember. All right, Bolt, you still, uh, you do get an attack if you want. Or you can try to escape as a standard action, since things went a little haywire from where you expected them to be. Ha <laughs> ha. Throw a natural uh, train right back at him. All right. Uh, yeah, but only with a 19 to confirm. 19 doesn't confirm, but you do... Uh, that is 16 points of damage. The pain of both here for oil change. Actually, let me throw on grappled. That might confirm. Double check. Uh, 19 does confirm against my grappled AC. Nice! For an extra 17 points of damage. Beautiful. Alright. Next I up... Was, I was saving that move for Cat. <laughs> Next up is this tiger. Uh, he will attack Bolt. Don't forget to put on the grappled condition, because that will yeah, attack Yeah, I got it on. Uh, a 31 and a 37? Yep. Hold on. This cat is not grappled. Uh, so if both of those hit, that'll be a total of 29 points of damage. And then a 33 with the bite attack for another 17 points of damage. And grapple. And then technically this one moves an initiative to right before bolt. Otherwise it'd be unfair for him to get all of his attacks right away. Uh Stonebreaker. Okay, Stonebreaker is going to Is that a really fucked up shot at this tiger that's right next to Callan? No, I'd say you got plenty of, uh... Wipe it up over there, makes it a little bit of a cleaner shot. I'm going to do that. Yeah. You can see the tiger. Does a 30 fucking 5 confirm? Oh, no. There's 30, 27 confirmed. 35 is the... Uh, hold on. I gotta keep switching my... Let's see. The 36 hits for the 13 points of damage. 13. That's all fucking natural ones on damage for that fucker. Uh, 26 does confirm. Yeah, buddy. 27 and add two extra for the, uh, so that'll be two extra for the point mic on the confirm as well as the one extra. Uh, All right, so, to... well, what's normal damage is 17, 18, 19, 20. And then. Crit will be 32 total. 32 total. Uh, That'll kill the tiger. Okay, no DC 14 save needed then. But uh, uh, tiger, uh, uh, Tiger's uh, fucking falls over with a concussive boom as the arrow explodes in him. Right. Uh, Zog, you're up. Uh, flank for you would be down in this square here. Uh, you 
No attack of opportunity because I'm grappled. A 36 will hit for... Uh, damage. Because you're still not raging, which is fine. For, for the record, Nathan... There's What's a picture up? in stupid bullshit that's what I imagine uh, Stonebreaker's bow looks like. Uh, okay. Yeah. That, that, that picture is called the Hot Shot Bow Gun. Nice. <laughs> Seems accurate, uh, no? Uh, yeah, probably. It launches an arrow and it kind of randomly explodes every now and then? Uh, Thor. Thor is going to just go ahead and compose along with that fucker that's the uh, grappling bolt there. Natural one is going to miss always. 22 to hit. Hold on, I gotta adjust my AC. 22 will hit for 13 points of damage. Alright. Uh, Kellen. It ain't a lot, but it's something. <laughs> uh... Can I go in there and cast Colt, uh, Conan Cold? Nah, that's hey. just fucking tigers, man. Just sh shred the damn thing. Did I get removed from initiative? Did you not roll into initiative for this round? Maybe. <laughs> I'll add a turn, and I'll put you after Kellen. A 15 or 18 will hit. Uh, an 18 will just miss. Uh, tell him. Say it's your turn. Okay. I am going to go ahead and step forward here. And I will act my, activate my liberation circle for bolt. Oh, there you go. Okay. Bolt, Bolt is, is no longer grappled. Nice. He basically grants an aura of freedom of movement. Yep. Uh, Baylor. Okay. They actually made that? What the fuck? No, no, no. That's from uh, game. Uh, the third attack misses, but everything else hit. Well, I only have the one. Oh. Then I'll heal back ten points. What's up with the chicken on chicken and meat thing? What the fuck? <sighs> KFC? What the fuck? Uh, Double down? <clears throat> yeah, that's weird. Alright, this tiger's gonna go after Baylor. So that was my claw attacks. A 29 and a 25. Nope. And then a 31 on the bite. Nope. Okay. A uh, bolt. That is... Oh, hold on. I forgot some damage from Zog. Uh, 24 is going to hit. And Bolt will take out the other tiger. All right. Uh, this is a pretty foul-smelling room. I'm gonna uh, BRB. 
I, uh, judging by the half-eaten cow carcasses and the enormous nest in here. So, you do defeat two dire, advanced dire tigers. How do I lose it every single time? What's the advance? Never. So some creatures get like templates added to them. These got the advanced template to them to make oh, them okay. more dangerous. It just makes them a higher difficulty creature. So you don't always have to come up with new creatures. You can just add templates to them to make them worth more XP and more dangerous. So what's good about the battle with the Blood Rager? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're kind of like a mix between a Barbarian and a Sorcerer. But like I said, you can only really cast spells when you're raging. So They use uh, Charisma? They do. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll play the same race I'm playing. <laughs> play uh, Kitsune again for that one. Can I uh, skin the tigers? For their pelts? Uh, you guys can certainly try. What do I need to roll? A survival check. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. I assume tigers didn't have any loot on them, right? Nope, other than their hides, which somebody is trying to... Uh, know. You completely destroy the first hide that you attempt to Damn. remove. Callan, you really should let the professional do it. Okay. I, I, I have feats for hide collection. Because of my harvest parts, I get to use a crap armor trick for it. Um, yeah, you get a pristine dire tiger hide. Now, can we make that into that armor that I need? Absolutely can. Depends on what armor you want, though. The, uh... It's an item ex for my race, if I remember correctly. Uh, well, find out what it is and let me know, and I will notate in my notes that I have a pristine dire tiger hide. All right. But okay. is there uh, CR, Nathan? CR 11. 11 times 11 is 121. Sounds right. Okay, so... Do, 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 times 10, so... 1,210 gold fucking value pristine tire tiger head. Let me see what the cold... Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's the races, 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 races. Optional. And Walker.
What was that other website we were using? Nathan? I have no idea what website. I always use Archives of Nuffus, but I don't know which website you guys use. Mostly Archive, Archives of Nexus I, and that one site. D20 PFSRD is what I use most of the time just because Vanguard is not on Archives of Nuffus. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I use. That, that yeah, one has all the third party stuff on it, though. I think that's where we got our my uh, Skinwalker race from. Or at least the, the sub race. I know the Skinwalker race and the sub races are on Archives of Nuffus. But... but I'm not seeing. Uh... So. Skinwalker is available on Archives of Nuffus. I'm not sure what the item that you were looking at, the armor you were looking to make was, because I don't see it'd anything be, in it specific. It'd be underneath the uh, wear tiger. Or the... There's not there's not any specific items under any of the races on archives of Nethus or on uh, uh, D20 PFSRD for Skinwalker. And what website was it? I'm not sure. Unless you were specifically looking under the Were Tiger, which is not your race, your race is Skinwalker, but then maybe Were Tiger. It's a Skinwalker and then it's a sub race with Were Tiger. Well, Were Tiger is actually your sub, your sub race is Fanglord. Is it? Yeah, that's the correct sub race for a The Skinwalker sub race is called Fanglord. It, you're a Were Tiger kin, you're not a okay. full Were Tiger. You're related to one. Um, I thought they had a special item for the weird tiger can, but maybe not. I didn't see what like there are special abilities for them, but I didn't see a special item for one. Looking to see if weird tigers typically have a specific type that I have seen. I don't see anything. It doesn't mean it's not available. Alright. So you guys killed a couple tigers. There are more stairs going south that lead up to the balcony, and then there is a door. Right. Yeah. <laughs> From the balconies, is it pretty obvious that the opening here exists? Uh, from the balconies, no, you wouldn't be able to see that door. Not the not the door itself, but like that the arena opens up into this general vicinity over this way. Yeah, you'd be able to tell. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Thor and Sombra are going to take Overwatch until you guys go through the damn door. And I'm going to continue looking for the door. Aha! There it is, Tiger Side. Found it. Da -da -da. Plus three hide armor made from tiger skin, magically treated to make it easier to move in, reducing its armor check penalty to zero. Arcane fail stealth failure chance to 10%. Increasing max dexterity to plus six. Grants DR5 against natural weapon attacks. Holy damn, that's nice armor. Oh, that's cool. That is nice armor. All right, yeah, we're making this for you because that's awesome. <laughs> All right, Nathan, I love What's this. Up? Plus three hide armor made from tiger skin, specially made to reduce its armor check penalty further, so it's a zero armor check penalty, a ten percent spell failure chance, plus six max dex, dr five against natural, dr five dash against natural weapons. And in addition, the wearer can use the pounce special attack, but only during the first round she can act in any combat. 
Nice. Who'd we lose? I need to make a set of this for Zog. Well, we're all here. I don't know. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Give Zog the ability to use the pounce special attack for the oh, first round of combat. Oh, there's Kellen. What? Oh, Kellen disconnected. So. Oh, I didn't hear a disconnect. Uh. All right. If anybody's gonna open the door, they may do so. I, I was saying, like, I found this this uh, armor that that he Kellen wants, and uh, that's fucking awesome. It'd be a downgrade in armor for you, I think, because it's a plus three hide armor. But yeah. it'd give you the ability to use the pounce special attack on the first round you can act in any combat. Could you imagine Zog being able to get a full round attack in on the first round? Give me a paw. No. Give me a paw and you'll get the tweet. No, give me a paw. That's one enemy gone. There we go. Every combat. Right. No, 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 no. Pounce means you can take a fucking double move and still make a full round attack. As long as you move in a yeah. straight line. Well, yeah. Yay, Callan's back. I found the item, Callan. Okay. It's called the Tiger Side. Yeah, I was looking for it, but. Yep, I found it. So. Okay. Well, you guys need downtime to do that, so you can't do it in the middle of a dungeon crawl. You can't do it in the middle of fucking somebody else's castle. Let's see, it's uh, 29,000 gold to craft, so it's going to take me 15 days. Something like that. Well, uh, is it 1,000 gold a day normally? Yeah. Okay, so um, because I hit 14, I get rapid reconstruction. I craft magic items at half the time, so 2,000 gold a day I craft at then. Nice. That's okay. I craft mundane items in one fucking tenth of the normal time. Damn. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, basically, we're waiting for somebody to open the door and explore that last room. Yeah, the, the Thor and Stormbreaker are on Overwatch up here. Do you want me to check for traps, or do you want me to stand back? I don't think it's trapped. It's an arena door, I think. Yeah. Like, like we just opened up the pen where they were storing the animals for fighting in the in the fighting pit. This is, I think, just the door to the fighting pit. But Thor and Stormbreaker are on Overwatch up here on the balcony, so if you fucking if something comes out down there, we can shoot it. Uh, nope. Not at the moment. So the Another stairs balcony. are a balcony that overlook the... Hold on. Let me... You might I go in? Yeah, go for it. How tall is this room? Uh, uh, just a second. Uh, it immediately is super cold in here once you enter the room. Right. With the ceiling going up to 40 feet high. Uh, as soon as you two enter the room, I need you to roll initiative. Need an initiative tracker. I have no idea how the smart initiative is supposed to work. I've never got it to work myself, so. The fuck is the smart initiative supposed to be? Supposedly, there's some smart initiative that if you click the initiative button, like it will guess what your best character is, but it's probably for different sheets and stuff. I don't think it's. 
All right, so we got Kalen, Thor, Zog, Stonebreaker, Bolt, Baylor. All right, Matt, I need you to roll initiative before I forget about you again. I did. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Nice. I was probably away from the computer. I didn't hear the initiative get checked. Probably. All right. Before I begin, I need to just check some stuff real quick. All right. Uh, one more thing I need to check. Okay. In my surprise round, because I know where you are, you guys are here, and you guys do not. Oh, I need to add. Uh, we'll call it. Wow, bad go. Bad go. We found a cum cave. A cum cave? What? What's wrong with you? There's gotta be a dragon somewhere in here. All uh, right. Uh, this thing bursts out of the floor. It's a fucking worm burster, or what? A uh, fucking tremor thing. <laughs> oh, that was a surprise round, and then it gets to act first in standard initiative. Uh, what is my re? Oh, five foot like, step up. Tremors. And then I am going to swing out and take a bite at Kellen. Kellen, what is your AC? Twenty five. Uh, this would be your flat footed AC. Doesn't it still have to? Doesn't it take a miss chance? Yeah, it still will, but your flat footed AC would be lower. I oh, actually don't. No. Actually, can he be caught flat footed by it? No, he's got uncanny dodge. He's fine. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right. That is a thirty-four to hit, Kalen. Uh, what is your miss chance? Fifty percent. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch yeah. uh, chats for just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, it's fifty percent. All right. So if I roll a fifty-one or higher, I hit you. All right, Damn. Helen, you take 88 points of damage. Huh. I'm dead. And then <laughs> you are also grappled. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Like, I've got, like, what, like, not even... I've probably got, like, 10 left. Yeah. Once I figure this out. And then you get dragged. Actually, not in his belly yet. How many hit points did you say? 88, right? Yep. You're at 10 hit points. Yeah, I'm, I'm like almost dead. Goddamn. Uh, he's still up. If we were playing massive damage rules, I'd have to make him roll a fortitude save. I wonder what... Something that's eating, Calden. Uh, Stonebreaker is up. What's the fucking knowledge check on him? Knowledge planes. Okay, Stonebreaker can't make a knowledge planes check. Pretty sure. Uh, but Stonebreaker can make a shot. Oh, so we're gonna knowledge arcana. Not it's knowledge arcana. Knowledge arcana. Stonebreaker can make knowledge arcana checks. He's not great at them, but he can do them. Nineteen. Nineteen. I don't know if that's enough. Uh, just a second. It's a grappoid. <laughs> Is it is it yeah. grappling somebody somebody right now? 
It is currently grappling. Uh, yeah, it's got me. Okay. All right, a nineteen. You recognize this creature as something known as a remoraz. An immense centipede-like beast erupts from snow. Rows of chitinous plates on its back, glowing red hot. Uh, you will get two questions. Resistances? Uh, it is immune to both fire and cold damage. Wonderful. Um, obviously it has a burrow speed. I don't even need to guess that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, special attacks. <clears throat> special attacks. Uh, it has the swallow hole ability. Wonderful. And it has a special ability known as heat. An enraged Remoraz generates heat so intense that anything touching its body takes 8d6 points of fire damage. Holy damn shit. Nice knowing you, Cowden. Creatures striking a Remoraz with natural attacks or unarmed strikes are subject to this damage as well. But creatures striking with melee weapons are not. The heat can melt or burn weapons. Any weapon that strikes a Remoraz is allowed a fortitude save to avoid taking damage. Um, Stonebreaker uh, relays this information to Balor and says, we need to resist fire. Yeah, but I can only get, get like two people. <laughs> Thor says we need, we need fire resist badly. Yeah, but like Bolt and Zog are going to need it desperately. And Callan apparently do. Hold on. Bolt's going to need some healing too. <laughs> Callan's about to die. This thing's already got me grappled. Yeah, you ain't gonna be grappled for a long time. I'm just gotta go, hey, Aura, and you're suddenly not grappled anymore. Hold on a minute. You took way too much damage. That's always a good thing. Yeah, to hear from from the DM, that's that's always a good thing. Yeah, that is. The bite does not do the 86 damage. Would you have big beat me? Would You're still going to take a ton of damage. But... Oh, I don't doubt it. So, just a second. You're going to take... You take the big beat. Uh... Uh... You only took 48 damage instead of 88 damage. Oh, that's a lot better. Ha, ha. You still are grabbed, though. Damn it. That means they can still swallow me, right? It can still swallow you, yes. Yes. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, Stonebreaker. Come, okay. Stonebreaker opens fire. Uh, yeah, uh... Does this thing obviously have reach? Like, do I need to back up and get out of its fucking reach? It does, in fact, have a 15-foot reach. Well, you're on the other side of the wall. You are on the other side of the wall. I thought this was like so. an over. I thought I was like up over top of it where I can. Shoot it is. Down. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you're shooting down at it. Uh, so do I, I get a high ground bonus too? Maybe. You get a high ground bonus, but I you have to be against the wall to actually get a shot off at it. To target it. So <sighs> he's right against the wall, according to what he's showing. Yeah, he is. So okay. as far as making sure you're out of his reach, though, I don't know. You can do that unless you take a five foot step after your shots. Uh, let's see. I was more 20... concerned about whether or not the shots would provoke. So you get a plus one bonus for the high ground. Right. And then you're within 30 feet, so plus two total. So that is a 27 and a 29. Both will hit. Let me make sure I don't have any DR or anything. Well, yeah, fire <laughs> immunity, so. Yeah. All right, so that's 18 points on the first arrow and 14 points on the second arrow. And then you're not How hasted. far up am I right now compared to the ground level? Oh, we'll say you are 20 feet up. Okay. Well, I'm 20 feet 
20 feet up than shooting down over the fucking the area there. there. I'm probably not within easy reach for him anyway. No. He'd have to, like, try to climb to get you or something. Well, he could, I mean, I feel like he could probably reach me a little bit, but I'd probably get some kind of cover bonus because he's attacking from underneath the balcony. Right. Uh, Baylor, you are up. I'll move here and wait for people for resist energy. Okay. Uh, Zog, you are up. Okay, rage. Uh, just bless at the moment. Uh, hold on. I am of the grappled condition. Just a moment. Okay, go ahead. Well, you only get the single attack. Because they had to move. Okay. And tail him. All right. I'll Okay. First off, knowledge WTF. Uh, knowledge Arcana. Wait, we already did tell Yeah, him. but. Did you miss it? He I must did. have. So he's immune to fire and cold damage. Uh, and he does a bitch load of fire damage if you're in physical contact with him. Yep. Okay. And he can melt your weapons. Oh, which, speaking of, I need you to make a fortitude save with your axe. <laughs> okay, I have an important question for you on that one, Nathan, because that's a fucking artifact. Is it a better fortitude save than Zog's? It is not, in fact, an artifact. It is just a magical weapon. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, there. But you do pass the fortitude save. I'm hoping he's not. What's that? Yeah, your hammer will Your damage. hammer will start to take damage and potentially be destroyed. How many questions did you have against him? Two. He had two. So he learned about... Uh, I learned it's got fire and cold immunity, and I learned that it's got yeah. uh, the heat where it fucking it glows and it can melt shit by touching mm -hmm. it. Question do not answer well, how many hit dice he have, does it? That is that not is a, a question. question. Good. I, I thought you could ask, the, I thought you could ask uh, how many hit dice it has in relation to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can ask that, but that is not a question that was asked. Okay. Oh, no. All right, so I'm going to roll the arcana to see if I can get that question. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you want to be able to use a ability against it that requires you to know the number of hit dice, then yeah, it's a good one to go for. Did it roll? Yep, that's 13. Uh, he took... A boatload. Yeah, he took a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Not enough. Uh, hold on. Let me double check something. I actually. Uh, whatever. So, so tell him I got two questions shit. with a 19. So, so real, real shit. Yeah, a 13 is enough to get, uh. Actually, this is a unique Remoraz. And you shouldn't have even gotten those two questions, but that's okay. I thought that you could still get the questions about its generic. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Like what the generic Remoraz is capable of. Yeah, you you have that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you don't know how many hit dice this thing has. Like I, I know you can't learn anything about its individualized yeah. shit, like class levels and anything like that. But I'm gonna roll with it. Okay, I would like to cast Three holy gallon? word. Upon on 
Well, no, gonna... yeah, I will do uh, hey, the uh, liberation. No, we did also learn it has swallow. It's currently got Callan in its jaws. All right, so what are you doing, Matt? Yeah, I'll do the liberation thing. I'll hold on to the holy word for another round. All right. Uh, Kalen, you're no longer grappled, so you can remove the grappled condition. Hey, neither and... is the but to avoid Kalen getting swallowed is probably a good idea. All right. Yeah. Next up, Thank you. Next up is Kalen. Uh, how tall is the room? Uh, the hallway you're in is, and the room is about 40 feet high. It g comes up into a big dome. Uh, yeah, could I run is not past... a bad idea. Though you yeah, I'm gonna... From it if you're gonna get past it. If I cast fly and then fly up and out, would I provoke it? Uh, just by casting the spell at the moment, you will provoke it. Unless you cast defensively. Can I do that with fly? Yeah. You, you can, can cast, cast any spell. Any spell you're casting. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, it is a DC 21 concentration check. Not terribly difficult for a level 14. We'll probably make it out of anything less than a spellcraft, right? Nope. Uh, so if you go to your spells list, one of the boxes will say concentration. God, no, if you can use your spellcraft skill, there'd be some really fucking dope. Uh, oh my lord! All right, a twenty-four. You are. Much. Able to cast that spell, no problem. Uh, fly the fuck out of there. All right, so you now have a fly speed of sixty feet. Uh, and if you go if you go straight up, you fly at half your speed. I want to go at an uh, incline. Okay. You can go at a forty-five degree angle without making a check for it. Yep. Or okay. Time over the speed, so you can go fifty or thirty feet out, thirty feet up in your. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Can you move me? All right. Exactly so thirty feet up, would... and thirty feet out would put you. Probably go this way rather than directly over top of it. I would think, right? Yeah, yeah I would. I wouldn't want to get in its reach, or, or if it can reach. All right. So that still will provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, you have to go through its reach to get there because of where it's standing right now. There's no way you're okay. going to get around that. Does it have... And you're 30 feet up? Oh, no. It yeah. To provoke. All right, okay. just... So I haven't used it to... Okay. Okay. No, no, it, it was on its turn that it attacked him. Okay. <laughs> so that Actually, will be... Did Zog provoke an attack? He couldn't, oh, no, he couldn't because... Because it was grappled. I was grappled at the moment. Yep. Uh, hold on. I need to... Uh, you... We're going to ignore the vital strike damage on this. Oh, hold on. I'm still grappled. Apparently. 55. Or 50, sorry. Uh, so add to that. Attack, Nathan, would that have been when he first moved because he was right there in his reach? Yeah, so he would have okay. provoked back here. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. 25 just hits. All right, that'll be 42 points of bite damage. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. All right, got to roll 51 or higher. I do hit you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> saved by your cloak. All right. So you're there. No problem. For for the record, it did it would have mattered because if he was still within 30 feet of Talon, then he's still within his aura and doesn't yeah. can't be grappled still. Uh, he didn't right. get hit, so it doesn't matter. Bolt. Bolt's up. Shoes up, but... 
okay. Good thing it's not a magic caster. <laughs> yeah, we'll go there. Why are you taking Volt there? Do I need to resist energy before Bull gets torn up by elemental damage? <laughs> oh, that's true. He can't attack until he's fucking got it. He ain't right. exactly at full health right now. <laughs> Everybody in the room takes six points of cold damage and the fatigued condition. Does this affect Thor and Stonebreaker being on the balcony? It does not affect them. Yeah. What about uh, Uncanny Dodge or whatever? This I is because the room is 50 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Oh, There's God. nothing to do with an attack. Oh, God. So this is its layer. God this damn. is its layer. Oh, so God. you all take six points of lethal cold damage. And are fatigued, which immediately makes our barbarian stop raging. Oh shit! But not pissed enough, apparently. So make sure you turn down the fatigue yeah. condition for all of your yeah. heats. Hey, 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 Zog! How do I do that? Bruce Banner now. You're Bruce Banner yep. now. You're beating yourself up trying to get the Hulk to come out. Galen, I'll put on fatigue for you. Okay. Yeah. On conditions, oh. fatigued. So, so, so now, Balor, you not only need fucking resist fire, but you also need endure elements. Endure elements will not prevent this. Seriously? It is, it is below the threshold of endure elements. Nasty. I recommend you get used to these conditions. You'll be seeing it a lot. Yeah. In the next campaign. Is there a race that doesn't have cold? Or does have cold? Or Races? Mm, mm. Not any that I'm aware of. Might what about a quadic element? So, even like, even if you were a full-blown wolf, wolves would still be affected by this. Like, no, I said, what about aquatic elf? Aquatic elf? Yeah, you're going to freeze mm. solid. The fuck are you talking about? Probably not. <laughs> but Don't they have, like, cold resistance? Cause of... Can't be any worse than a lizard folk oracle with cold-blooded curse. So, even then, like, if if you have cold resistance, this bypasses even cold, Im well, not cold immunity, but it okay, bypasses a lot of resistance. Cold stuff. Damage, but, uh, I, yeah. Like, well, actually, resistance would help against it, but... What's a gym men? I don't know what half the races are. You want to be a what? Suli. But there's also going to be, like, certain races that just are off the table. Depending on if you pick it or not, but I'm not going to tell you what they are or not. A drown Which kind of sucks. A what? Somebody wanted to be a Drow Noble? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Jesus fucking fuck. I didn't know that, that, that it was super That's powerful. That's a lot of RP, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Thor, you're up. Fucking 41 RP for a Drow Noble. Uh, Zog. Okay, uh... I just thought it was like D&D, &D, like they're nobles. Yeah, no. I I Noble didn't know it. Was like... <laughs> Noble is a fucking existence. Are they? A, anyway, is... uh, Thor Noble? is going to. Noble? Are you allowed to be a male noble, or is it just a? Nope, draw nobles are female. That's stupid. Nope, no, it's not. It's a matriarchal society. Males that try to gain that much power die. I... Yeah, but. Don't males can't a male attain that power at all? No. No. They die. They would get slaughtered as a child. Yep. Before they even they would kill them at like two, maybe. Six days, I'm talking you're telling me that you're telling me that out of all the all the drows, there's not one male noble. Correct. Nope. 
it, it, you're, like, you're talking what? about a straight up fucking fascist society, bud. No. Yeah, so nobody's ever escaped the drought. Nope. Not many. God damn. Yeah. The, I, I take that back. I take that back. There is one that maybe could be considered a drow noble, but isn't technically, and that's Drizzt. Uh, He's technically more powerful than the drow nobles. But anyway, uh, Thor is going to... Nathan's going to hate me. I have the spell slots left for it. I'm going to fucking do it. Nathan, going to need a very important save. Oh, I'm sure. I think I'm going to. But only if this 23 hits. Uh, 23 will hit my touch AC, and it's a reflex save. It is, in fact, a reflex save. Yeah, I'm okay. But 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning damage wasn't what I was concerned about. Right. I wanted to take away that fucking bite attack. Uh, I've only got four cast of that left today. Right. Uh, this guy is going to move back, which will provoke an attack of opportunity from Zog. <laughs> Let me check my feet real quick. Forty for twenty-five points. Correct. Yeah. A forty is still plenty. Well, they're not all strong. Male nobles. Regular drow still exist, male drows, but. Uh, if you're born to a noble family, you get killed if you're a male. What is your current AC, Zog? <laughs> it's probably less being fatigued. 24. All right. The thing is, the males all also get consumed after sex, so you get one glorious time. Drow are fucking spiders, dude. Right, yeah, uh, are spiders. Yeah. 30, a 37 will hit for a total of 50 points of damage, so 45 points of damage to Zog. You do you have to be raging for that ability to work? Actually, you can't do that. You've used that ability once today. Yep. Oh shit. Yeah. Can I play in free or in fur or whatever? So oh, that's forty-five points of damage. Oh, you want to play a lamprey? I think he said no. It's a different, in, like the different. yeah, the fire, the fire it, it, yeah. That is uh, in five E called Janasi. Janasi. Okay, All right, so Stonebreaker. Or oh, did no. it... Yeah, we're not I back to town was... right yet. Oh, I I was. Further down on the list, looking at my character. Okay. Ah. Yep. Uh, Stonebreaker is going to shoot down. All right. Thirty-six yeah. twenty-two. Uh the thirty-six hits for. Thirteen. No, twelve. Sorry. Twelve points of damage. Math's wrong. Uh Baylor. Alrighty then. I also need a uh. Fortitude save from you, Zog. Yeah, mother boy. Yeah, your mother boy. Oh. 
Uh, <laughs> I suppose I have to figure out how many hit points your weapon has now. <clears throat> A two handed hafted weapon, ten hit points. Let's see. It is medium sized. And it's plus five, so add f 10 hit points per plus enhancement bonus. Uh, five. All right, your weapon has 50 hit points, and it just took 24 hit points worth of fire damage. If it takes one more hit point of damage, it will gain the broken condition. Yeah, penalized. It only crits on a nat 20, and it only does double damage. And you take a minus four penalty to your attack rolls. It's a Warhammer anyway, so it only crits on a nat 20 anyway. Yeah. Uh, but it does times three. That's so more of a problem over. on the fucking uh, uh, yeah. Great Axe. Uh, or not Great uh, uh Swords. Anyway. Yep. Baylor, you are up. Resist energy communal. All right. At the moment, you can touch the three of you. Well, everybody else is either flying or balking, and then, so yeah, that's three. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm staying out of that. Or, that or I'm casting Bell for Pymore. <laughs> and at this level, uh, that is plus 30. 30. Okay. Good to know. All right. Hopefully we what energy? Turn. Fire, I assume? Yeah. The one that's primarily stopping Bolt from attacking. Okay. You have fire yeah, resistance. The, the fucking heat damage that it does is going to murder Bolt if he's not got resistance. Well, yeah, that needs half health. <laughs> uh, Zog, you're up. Well, yeah, I mean, he can still take damage from the fucking fire damage. Even but it's 8d6. So it's a max of 48 if it rolls super high. You are fatigued until you heal all the damage taken from the cold. Fireball. Alright, you had to move. Fireball doesn't work. He's immune to fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 39 for 24 points of damage, or 21. All right, uh, tell him you're up. Okay, uh, even Speckle's little fireball bullshit wouldn't work, Balor. He's mean ice, too. I need a will, <laughs> you mean creature. crackle? <laughs> yeah, and then I need uh, hey, that was a fun mix on that spell. I liked it. I need a will save from this creature. Um, oh. yes, one, does it have equal or lesser hit dice than me? It has more hit dice than you do. Holy uh, word. Okay. Then well, it, this uh, thing has no effect. Yeah, this has no effect on creatures that have more hit dice than us. Okay. What's up? Ah, uh, yes, you do. You are fine. Yep. What? The worst part is that's for every attack, not fucking just once around. So yeah. when you're doing a full round attack, it's going to be fucking three extra times or, or three times that round, not just one. I keep moving, though, so that I'm not getting full round attacks. But, uh, all right, Kellen, you're up. You know, it's really funny when you do that and you find out that the Barbarian's actually a Vital Strike build. Right. That's super fun. It's like, well, we do want it to run anyway, so screw you. Can I uh, use my ability with uh, Arcane or Alchemist? To do what are you doing? I, the, what are you trying to do? Uh, I was going to use my Fireball, but that wouldn't work. Nope. He is immune to fire damage. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast my uh, my killer. Phantasmal killer. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and click the thing so I can take a look at the save yeah, I need to make. I am certain that he's not immune to that one, actually. That's a fourth level ability, right? Yeah. You see 19. All right. Got to start with the will save. Ah. Uh, I save. Damn. Damn. That's my turn. Bolt. Uh, pounce. You cannot you pounce. You're far fatigued. You can't okay. charge when you are fatigued. Okay. Uh, that will provoke an attack of opportunity as you move forward. Uh, we're going to ignore the vital strike part of this because I can't vital strike on an attack of opportunity. That is a 37. Oh, yeah. For 40 points of damage. I have a feeling this fight isn't really going to end well. Well, he's down to 30 health. Bolt. I can only use that three more times. That's gonna suck. All right, Bolt. What would you like to do? Uh. Ah. A twenty-seven. Will hit the creature for 13 points of damage. And let's see. You don't get to save, unfortunately. Uh, you will take nine points of fire damage. That bypasses your fire resist. Well, it, it overcomes it. With... Or, yeah, 30 of it's blocked, but the other nine gets through. What's uh, a monkey goblin? What the fuck? You weird ass uh, monkey creature. Uh, all right, everybody in the room takes another four points of cold damage. And tail him. Since you weren't in the room before, you are now, though. Yep. You gain the fatigued condition. Fatigued and minus four. So, Kalen, if you want to hit a big damage spell, well, I would suggest Lightning Bolt. It's not immune to electricity. Just to... Yeah, Lightning Bolt would be good. I mean, I can still save, but Lightning Bolt, the damage I'll get through at least. I don't know, man. You are. I think your oh. was on your other warhammer. All right, Thor. What do you want to do? Rinse, fucking repeat. Ew, that's only fifteen against his touch, though. Or wait, do I get the high ground bonus for sixteen against touch? You do. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. I have the fucking last cast of this spell. That'll hit for sixteen points of bludgeoning damage, and then I need to make a. Very reflex? fucking reflex save. I avoid it. Damn. Next up is the Ramirez. You'll take some steps backwards, provoking from both Zog and Bolt. Uh, yep, a fortitude save. That'll hit for... You're fine. Uh, Bolt, you don't hit, which is probably in your best interest at this point. Uh, in fact, 
Baylor's probably going to have to tell him to continue to attack as a handle animal. Like, it's a free action that you auto-pass, but I don't think Bolt would automatically continue pursuing him and attacking. No, I was, thinking of backing up, I was thinking of backing up myself. Uh, Stonebreaker. Okay. Hatch one misses 19, or uh, 20 because of high ground bonus. A 20 will miss. Uh, Baylor. Would have been nice to get that damage in. Some good damage. Yep. Seven points of healing to whomever. Probably Bolt, I assume. Uh huh. All right, Zog, you're up. That will provoke. Uh, that is a 32 to hit for 39 points of damage, or 34 to you. That's, I mean, you're chipping away at him. He's, he's chipping away at Zog too. He's hurting. Uh, tell him you're up. All right. How's everybody else's health looking? Uh, Both want to hit attack from death. <laughs> so, Bolt and Zog are not looking good, okay? Bolt, Zog, and Kalen are all... Hurting. Yeah, I'm pretty hurt. Kalen is out of the Kalen range of your... Up in the air, so you'd have so. to be directly underneath him in order to get him. Yeah, right. never mind. Don't do that. I'm... Well, you can get everybody else, but... Uh, one sec. Let me check anything. How far up in the air is Callan? 30, 30 feet. Ooh, did they give us a new set of markers for marking distance up in the air? Uh, it's ones I downloaded, but yeah. Okay, he's within 15 Oh, you added them? Yep. 30 feet up. Cool. Okay. Here, serious wounds, mass. All right, so that is 3d8 plus 13? Yeah. 14. Uh, what's the range on mass? Uh, 30 feet. He's so within 50... 30 feet of each other or just within 30 feet of you? 30 feet of each other, apart. Yeah, right. so you still won't be able to get Kalen then. You're not going to be able to get Kalen, but you'll get everybody else. That's fine. I'm, okay. I'm not... Are you going to include my monster? Just no. okay. Uh, twenty-eight points of healing. Yep. Uh, nice move by. And tell him, uh, Kellen, you're up. I will cast it again. You can do whatever you want. I mean, so if you're 30 feet in the air, he can't reach you. So, what do you do? Heal yeah. bolt, tell him. I yeah, he healed everybody within 30 feet of each oh, other. Oh, out of the channel. Okay. No, so he, used, he used uh, Cure Serious Mass. Oh, okay. So that's plus. Plus 14. So 28 total healing. Callan can't even be in the reach. Yeah, he's 30 Callan feet up in the air. Guy, he'd be the only one affected. Because he's 30 feet in the air. He's pretty much 30 feet exactly away from me, so he's... No, would... you'd have to be directly underneath him and be 30 feet away from him. Yeah. Oh. Okay. As of right now, you are 35 feet away from Callan. Okay. Does that work? No. Intangible killer? Yeah, you can do yep. that again. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll save. 
I just pass. I, I hear some crying. I'm going to go check it out. Okay. A uh, bolt. Mm. And he'll hold. He's going to hold, okay? Everybody in the room takes another six points of cold damage. I do say, sir, it's a tad bit nipply in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, Thor. Oh, he went to go check on a crying child. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me find out what the equivalent is. As long as I cannot believe in tea time. <laughs> or paying for TV licenses. <laughs> Uh, it is negative 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Question, would a damp here blood razor work? You can make any class and race combination work for the most part. Yeah, but would it be able to heal itself as a blood razor? No. Okay, shit. Sorcerers don't get access to the inflict spells. I'm sure if it ever hit that cold in the UK, like the world would shut down for a period of time. <laughs> Or the the day after tomorrow or whatever. That's the one I was thinking about. Destruction of the planet within a day. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll Thor had to he walked away for a minute. Which is what would really happen if our polar, uh, polar north and south switch to uh, east and west. <laughs> I'm actually. Uh, Thor's up. mad that he can't have more ice cream. Oh, well, that's understandable. Okay, uh, Thor's <laughs> actions are going to be quite simple. He's going to drop his longbow on the ground. Okay. Move action, pull out the double hack butt. Okay. And standard action, I'm going to cast on a new spell. That one. Okay. On my cell phone, or well, on my my double hack butt, obviously. All right, I'm gonna move, provoking from Zog. Okay, I've been need to real quick as well. Nathan, what's that? Can I take a swift action real quick as well? Sure. Okay, I'm going to swift action, activate uh, Stormbreaker's Resonance for munitions generation in order to uh, generate unlimited ammo for my double hack butt. Okay. Which reloading hands also does, but it only generates for the one it reloads, not for the one I reload. And then this guy will take a bite at Zog. Ooh, a 27. I don't know if that hits. He has a 15-foot reach. reach. Yeah. That is 50 total, or 50 points minus, oh, 45 total points of damage to Zog. And it's also probably like 40 feet tall or something like that. Um, yeah. Probably huge. 
Uh, Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker's turn is quite easy. Uh, that's a 32 and an 18. Uh, the 32 hits. For 15 oh. points of damage. Uh, okay. Baylor. Okay. Do, do, do. Whoops, wrong shoot. Do, do, do. Oh, what do I have left? Oh, uh, let's see here. Not a whole fucking lot. I know, I'm running out of shit. Uh, I think I'll hold on to my bellful. Alright. Uh, Zog, you're up. Uh, I, I, I still get an attack. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna... Go over here. There's a bit of Zog. Oh, alright, it's on the right. You're fine. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, longbow. Nope. Nothing on it. Unfortunately. All right, Zog, you're up. All right, you're gonna delay. That's fine. Till after tell him. All right, tell him you're up. Minimized again. Why do you keep minimizing on me? Oh yeah. That's my last channel. If you step over directly under Callan, you'll get Callan and Bolton Zog. Okay. So that's 22 points of healing to Killen, Zog, and Bolt. And myself. And yourself, if you need it. Uh, everybody is still... You cannot heal 16 points. You, like... The only way to heal the cold damage is leaving the room. You have to get out of the cold in order to heal the cold damage. Oh, so then I don't okay. get any. But you've all taken 16 points of cold damage, so I know most of you can take 22 points of healing and still be good. Uh, so, like, you can't heal within 16 points of your max because cold you're damage. continually taking cold damage. Which all you people cut. casting spells should have been making concentration checks. That's okay. Except for Thor because he's not in the cold. Right. Uh, Zog, you're up. Did you heal 22 points? Alright, that'll provoke. That is a 40 to hit uh, for 35 points of damage. Uh, good thing that I rolled one low. Because I rolled a 19, if that was a 20. Bad. Oh my goodness. That's okay. So no, but <laughs> your, death watch eyes, your death watch eyes kick in. Oh, it has reached God. the threshold. Yep, your weapon's fine. He's almost done for. He's almost done for. All right. Kellen, you're up. We got him on the ropes. If only Zog could action surgery now. <laughs> <laughs> I will cast it one last time. Hopefully this works. Kellen, tell him just said that he's almost dead. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Out. I don't have lightning bolt. Yeah, it's a third level spell. You have lightning bolt. Do I? Yeah. You've used it before? 
I'd fly down in like here or something to cast it though, so you don't hit Zog. It's got a hundred and twenty foot range. Uh, if he shoots it at the Rosatha from where he's at thirty feet in the air, he's going over Zog's head. It ain't gonna oh yeah, up. yeah. You can you can just blast it from there. He'll be fine. Okay. And there we go. So I need to make a reflex save. Take that motherfucker. Roll, roll I save, but I still get uh seventeen points of electricity damage. Which causes my body to collapse and die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just see a floating Emperor Palpatine just go. Oh, get your ass back in that room. We're still in initiative. Because you guys are still in the fucking room. It's still fucking cold. Kalen, would you like to move at all? Yes, I will move out of the room if I can. You have a fly well, speed of 60 feet, so you can move up to 60 feet. Yeah, he could just fly over to one of the fucking balconies from where he's standing, from where he's flying. Yeah, I'll, I'll fly over to the balcony. All right, yeah, you can get out of there, no problem. So, Kalen gets out uh, because of the bad. the balcony where I'm at, otherwise you got to walk all the way around, Kalen. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take that off. I can fly over there. Doesn't matter. All right, Kellen's out. Bolt. All right, Bolt gets out. Uh, I think technically this was supposed to be all difficult terrain as well, but whatever. Uh, Nobody's really moved far enough for that to matter right. that much. No. Uh, everybody Maybe takes five and ten feet at a time. Let's see, Talon, Zog, and Baylor all take two points of cold damage. I should have picked somebody up, but I'm weak. So I can't. Uh, Thor is fine. Stonewalls, Stonebreaker's fine. I mean, Baylor. You. All right. Baylor will quit taking cold damage. Uh, Talon. Double move to get out of here. Yeah, Alright. And then Zog. I don't think it decreases you. Know. It just doesn't allow you to charge. So you can get out of the room, no problem, I'm sure. Yeah, you're fine just, with a double move. Yeah, a... just double move and you'll be fine. Alright. We can now end initiative. All right. Here's my important question, Nathan. What's up? Uh, I would like to know if I know if there is anything valuable to harvest from a creature of that type. There's got it. Uh, I'll let you roll another oh, knowledge. Got a 19 knowledge account. Okay. All right. Uh, with the 19, you'll know that it is good for 24 hours unless it is somehow stored, but you can, uh, Harvest its stomach lining to create like alchemical fire and stuff. Okay. That sounds cool. Can it be? What? Can it be preserved with with uh, uh, Talon's preserved spell? If he has it available, but yes, you can preserve Is that it. A level two, I think that's a level two. I think so. I don't remember. Yeah, I have some level two and a couple one level three spell slots left. You have unprepared slots you're being. No. Is there a way to make fire spells still hurt monsters with fire? Well, no, it, it won't matter because it's good for 24 hours until uh, uh, unless it's preserved, which means it'll still be good preserved. after we rest. Yeah. So we can preserve it then, so it won't really matter. Yeah, so yeah. then I will... Uh, Oh, this is going to fucking suck, I'm sure, but... Okay, so... I cast fly on you. Well, I don't need to fly, because it's over here. I can get there with <laughs> one move. One turn in the fucking room to do it. How long does it take to harvest the damn thing? Uh... I will say... Uh... Five rounds. Five rounds. Okay, and then a 
round to get the fuck back out. So six rounds worth of, or seven rounds, because one to get in here, five to do it. So I'm going to take 23 points of cold damage. I'll be fatigued the whole fucking time. Yep. You get and then that'll oh, be good. a... That's a frosty looking beard. And then I can harvest that with my harvest parts. Uh, yeah. Craft skill. Yep. Um, you know, I don't you... know that any of my craft skills are applicable to that, unless firearms lets me work with alchemical shit because it's what I use to make gunpowder and shit. Uh, sure. Yep. You have... I, I don't think I can fail most of these checks with harvest parts. Yeah, at this level you're not. Uh, you have eight doses, or whatever, enough to make eight vials of uh, alchemist fire. You should hand those here. <laughs> that, that's going to be the plan. Right. I want to let you know I've made a personal so decision. You get back out of there before now to start freezing. Oh, yeah. so no, I, I, I get in there, I do the, do the harvest. Okay, that that flat, is, please. If you can do that, it's amazing. All right. Uh, a flat butt. So depending on how you guys oh, want to like like rule it, it'll take you whoa, um, whoa, dude, 10 minutes one. in like non-cold temperature to be able to oh, heal back up those uh, oh, cold yeah, points. Follow the screams, dude. Follow the screams. It's got to be something yeah. good. Go to the All right. Don't get lost. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. So once you warm up, you I can want heal chicken back noodle. 18 cold points. But you make your own damn chicken. Oh, I found something else. What else? What uh, we will fast forward that part. There. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could always just kill your uh, dinosaur, and that's chicken. No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Why do Why do we gotta kill the dinosaur? We just cut off a leg and then cast regenerate on it. Yeah, and we just give him a bath with some warm water and then boil it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that is no. fat <laughs> level. No. <laughs> I, I I think we want chicken broth, not sweat broth. Yeah. So if that creature had been under or equal to my hit dice, would it had it been sent to a different plane? Would it have been banished? Uh, possible. Did I get a save? Would I have gotten a save? You would have gotten a will save with a negative four penalty. Uh, I'd have to look at Holy Word. Just uh, if you are on your home plane when you cast a spell, non-good extra planar creatures within the area are instantly banished back to their home planes. Creatures so banished cannot return for at least 24 hours. This effect takes place regardless of whether the creatures hear the holy word or not. The banishment effect allows a will save and a minus four penalty to negate. Uh, he would not have been banished, because this is his home plane, but lots of other bad shit would have happened to it. <laughs> well, if he's equal to your caster level, he's only deafened. If he's minus one hit die, he's blinded and deafened. Minus five is paralyzed, blinded and deafened. And minus ten is killed, paralyzed, blinded and deafened. Damn. Uh, he had 20 hit dice, so... Yeah. No yeah, wonder he was such a fucking challenge. Yeah. There's only Quit. six levels above us, guys. Oh, yeah. He was a CR 15 encounter. Damn. Uh, has anybody ever played a ninja? Mm -hmm. A ninja? Yeah. I have played around with the idea of a ninja, but I've never actually played one. Huh. So, like, I've learned a lot about it, but I've not actually played it. What class would I have to make? What class would Trevor Belmont be? I know you, you're more experienced with more classes. Trevor Belmont. Where is this person? The, the guy from Castlevania. Uh, Necro or whatever. Oh, let's see. Where is he? That's it, the newest. The only problem is whips suck in Pathfinder. Yes. Yeah, there are ways to make whips not suck in Pathfinder, and I know right, it. but it is a ton of feats to get there. Yeah, I mean, if he's trying to build a level uh, seventeen, though, we have room for that. Yeah, level seventeen, you'd be able to. But all right, scorpion whip is better, isn't it? Uh maybe. I don't know. All right, I need uh, to go there, grab a there, rink there real fast, you guys. It. Um, okay, so determine what you want to do. I, uh, I need to know just... what the fuck he does if I'm gonna have to do this. So I'm gonna look him up a little bit. Right, so, you explored everything on that level, so you're back up to the this level. I'll be right back. I think I'm going to go with the summoner with the tank Eidolon. Eidolon. Pretty much what we intended for you to main tank, ain't we? Yeah. 
So 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 we're gonna have two summoners in set level seventeen? Uh, no, it's his main good. character. Oh, that's your main character's gonna be a summoner? Okay. I haven't figured out what I wanna do for my seven seats. I, I was gonna say if you're doing a summoner for level seventeen, we're gonna have two summoners in level seventeen. That's gonna be fun. And Captain America. And then my level one character is a a Kits, Kitsune uh, Magus. Yeah. I'm a Kitsune Oracle, Life Oracle. Vox Magician. Basically, I'm a sword and a sorcery character. I enhance my blade with spells, basically. Boy, oh, I, I ate too much pizza. Hey, that's a okay. That's an interesting play. All right. Right. All right. So I know how to build. There is when it starts fight okay. fighting back. So uh, <laughs> so you got you've got two options, two major options. Okay. So there's actually a third option as well. So you can either play a human fighter uh, mm -hmm. with the hunter multi-class and monster hunter feats. Uh, or you can play a human champion paladin with hunter multi-class and monster hunter feats. Both of them you have to take an extra feat in order to get the Namish flick mace proficiency because that is the closest approximation of Trevor Belmont's actual whip. Okay. And what's the third? Third option is to just straight up go hunter. Which one would you do? Um, for simplicity, probably the fighter. Uh, probably the hunter actually. The hunter, okay. Because you'd be a the, the other two builds are both multi class builds. Okay. Are you building this for your, you're building this for your level seventeen character, right? Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, so oh. yeah, we get we get to play around. We could do a multi class build because you don't have to like keep track of oh I need to do this and that and that and this and this and that. Um, I know he doesn't use magic much, so that's why I wasn't gonna do the paladin. Well, hunter gets some magic, but not a lot of magic. But it is, I mean, his whip usually catches on fire, so technically that's not. Yeah, that would actually be closer to a paladin usage. If he's making his whip flaming. Well, he cracks it, basically it catches on fire in a way. It just so, a paladin, okay, sorry, Nathan. Here, he couldn't here's play here's a paladin. Here. He could play an anti-paladin, but not a paladin. Because for the level 17 characters, you are limited to neutral or evil characters. Oh, non-good characters? Non-good. Ooh, interesting. Um, actually, though, if you want to make your weapon flaming out of nowhere, does he have any kind of deity that he follows at all? No. Uh, well, kind of just... God. <laughs> so what Trevor Belmont does kind of a little bit? Like, kind of. Like, he's a vampire hunter, essentially. Yeah. But. Well, he's a monster slayer, basically. Yeah. Okay, Creature. So... What about a slayer? I guess that would work. Let me see. There might be. I want to look through the Slayer talent book and see if there's one that gives you some way to make your weapons do extra things. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now tell me that doesn't sound like a vampire hunter ability. Sunlight strike. Yep. <laughs> it can reflect sunlight into the eyes of an adjacent target as a swift action, causing it to be dazzled for a round. So well, I'm pretty sure it's only going to be on the D20 PFSRD. That's what I'm looking on. But there's actual... I mean, I can tell you right now you're not going to face any vampires. 
but there is a vampire slayer yeah, I've looked class. At the fucking actual vampire slayer. I don't think that would work for the campaign, though. No. I what what I was actually looking at possibly was to suggest he be an Omdura. Oh, maybe. What's that? A nasty fucking little class that is a little bit challenging to play, but I think. Like, you have to have a deity in order to make it work. Like, you have to have a deity because that's part of your class. Because you're basically uh, one part cleric, one part paladin. One part really inquisitor, paladin. maybe? Yeah, a little, bit of, a little bit of inquisitor thrown in there. And then you just, and then just for shits and giggles, you get the fucking war priest abilities, too. <laughs> that sounds fucking terrible. It is. Dumb and fucking hilarious. I, I had an Amdura as a companion in our last campaign. Her fucking invocations. So you know how I get the, the fucking abilities where I Stonebreaker just like pops out auras that that boot uh boost different things, right? Yeah. So that's what the invocations do for a fucking Amdura. But then you also get it's called Divine Might. It's not Divine Smite, it's Divine Might. It is half as effective as Divine Smite. But it's effectively Divine Smite. <laughs> you also get uh you can you get a divine bond for your weapon, just like a fucking paladin does. And my favorite part about the divine bond that would make it work for you for the fucking flaming bullshit is you can take it and add flaming to it as a standard action. And it lasts for one minute per level. Yeah. There's lots of ways to build it. Level up, like at level 17, uh, you'd be at the point of you'd be able to use it twice or four times per day. You could make your weapon flaming, and also, I think what, you could yeah. do it faster than a standard action. Is there a god of monster slaying? Uh, there might be. Maybe. I don't know a whole lot about. find out real fast. <laughs> I can tell you which god it's not. Lamash to. <laughs> right? <laughs> the, the god of monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <damn self. laughs> Too much. Let's see. God of slay. Wait a second, I know how to figure this one out. Who's Lamashtu's fucking dead enemy? There's gotta be somebody who can, who considers Lamashtu a primary enemy. Who's the dude who leaves? Who's the dead one? I love the feeling of gravity, and this is too much work. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to make the theory crafting is one of my favorite pastimes, okay? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. What would you guys like to do next? next? Did we find the fucking king dude yet? You have not. Is there any more areas that we have not searched? Yep. <clears throat> you know that Maybe. secret secret staircase you guys uh don't know about? <laughs> yeah, let's go find that damn secret. Don't I have, like, trap sense or something? Or... Because you guys probably need to heal up a bit. Yeah. Can we take a? Would it be bad for us? Nathan, you know who fucking Lamashtu's primary fucking enemy is? No, Tom. 
Rovagug. God of destruction, disaster, and wrath. Huh. <clears throat> Which would actually pretty much fucking work for Trevor. Yeah. Which the <laughs> two main deities from the region you would be from would be Lamashtu and Zon Kithan, <laughs> but you can Zon Kithan would work because his fucking favorite weapon is a spike chain. <laughs> hey, then we make him a fucking Amdura of Zonkuthan and his primary weapon is a spike chain. You could do that. Because Trevor's whip, uh, I was doing some reading on it, and people say that the closest approximation in Pathfinder really would be the Namish Flick Mace, but a spike chain would work too. Yep. So, yeah, you guys need to heal. Uh, it is up to you if you do or how you choose to do this, but I know uh, your barbarian is, like, a step away from death. Yeah, so... Uh... Bolt's not doing great. Oh, yeah. Killen's not doing great. So did we clear all of everything on that floor then uh, at that point? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we have the, the lady there. What, what was that bedroom down there? It was a bedroom. I don't. I mean, if you wanted to rest down there, you could in theory. But well, I was thinking it was like a good like dead end point where we could barricade ourselves in for a rest. Does anybody have like a a, a spell that locates like ma or magical rooms or shit? They're not hidden rooms. You're, you're talking about detect secret doors. That yeah, still yeah, does yeah. exist. None of us have it. I don't They'll have that one over there to look at. I haven't found where that one goes. I don't think we came up it or came across it under here. What? What one? Did we search all those doors? Each of one of those rooms? See, I see this entire fucking map over here. You're supposed to. I haven't okay. hidden anything. Oh, yeah. That's because it was going to be a nightmare for me to deal with. So I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of fucking walls in here. Jesus. Sir. Not a hundred hidden doors. Just the just castle of a hundred doors. Did we check the mountain to see if there's any, like, hidden... Buttons in it. Detect secret doors on my spell list. Why the fuck have I not done that yet? Oh wait, because Balor finds all the fucking secret doors. All right. So. Fucking Omdura of Zonkutha. That just sounds nasty, Nathan. Doesn't it? You're no longer flying. Not off. Uh, yeah, once you guys heal your cold damage, you would no longer be fatigued. Honestly, I'd say Forever's probably more of a fighter. I'd say he's whoever you want him to be. Yeah, he can be whatever you want him to be. No, I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> We're not I'm getting... just... Ain't I'm, no PC I'm, here, get the fuck out. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying your family paid for a full hour. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> uh, are you guys taking a long rest? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, you I think we should. Excellent. I really do think we should. Oh, you know great. what that means? My guys get a rest too. Yeah, I know. Not allowed. 
Gramic's done gone to the long sleep. He's getting a very long rest. So, uh, breath of life. But he's a child, man. And you're a child for that. He's, he's an adult. Two. <laughs> Which, for a half work, is an adult. Be like you're 18 years old or something. He, he, oh, yeah. Oh, but, but, you know, tell him saying that is, one, is understandable. Because an almost dead half work is still a child to an elf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because elf maturity is something like 40 years. And a half orc has a lifespan, I think, of like 35. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> okay, so I have an interesting question, Asen. Look at it, a 40 year old man. Does the breath of life negative level last one day? Does it just go away or do it still have to start again in the morning? No, you, you die after a day, of, of, of unless otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it, it says creatures brought back to life through breath of life gain a temporary negative level that lasts for one day. Uh, then, yeah, it would disappear the next day. I'm Those gonna... of you who took strength damage will also get one point of that back, or whatever other ability damage you might have. Did we top off people? So I'm... If so you have I've the got... resources. I've got uh, yes. three level two and one level three spell. I have four level one slots left. I should use up, uh... Probably three fifth level slots, but I can't heal with I should use up six minutes of bullets, uh... Can I use higher level slots to cast lower level spells, Mason? Fast heal. No. There's probably a feat for that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Not the kind that you find on well, feet there, finder. There he is if you use meta magic with him. Right. But I don't have any meta magic for that. Reset all my shit. Mm-hmm. Win spell cure spells. Nathan? What's that? Win cure spells. Uh, I don't know if twin is a thing. I don't know if that's a thing in Pathfinder. I know that's I a 5e know. thing. I'm about to go look at meta magic piece. I'm pretty sure there is like a. Uh, I don't know if twin spell works on touch spells though. Well, you could do like, what's it called, bouncing spell or, what's that feat you had with speckles? Which one? The one where like it didn't spend your spell and you could cast it again. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I remember that one, but that was only if it failed, right? Mm, I think it just. Uh no, it, uh it was some kind of twin spell. You cast it once and then you can cast it again for free. <laughs> it's twin. Gotta well, be. Well, that was well, called twins though because I'm on the meta magic list. There's no twin. Double. Um. No one for double. Copy cat. Oh, okay. Compel. What tongue. was that called? See, bouncing spell lets you direct a failed spell against a different target. So it literally let me like, bounced off him and stuck to you. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Path builder, meta piece. Oh, echoing. That's it. Yep. That's an echo. That's a fucking plus three. Holy fuck. Yeah. Well, it's nice if you want to double cast some spells. Like fireball example. <laughs> ah. The, the, well, yeah, but fucking spend a six level spell in order to cast Fireball twice? Well, it's not, well, well I also heightened, so it also ups the DC. Well, I, that's how I had heightened, anyways. Yeah, that's not how uh, it normally works, though. No, but you had mythic content. for that. Echoing spell would be like casting fireball as, as a third level spell, like just normally, just it would cost you a sixth level slot. 
but then you'd be able to cast it twice. So that, I mean, that's fair for a sixth level or for a third level spell like that fireball. It's not quite so. Good there's there's other there's other spells you can probably double that came in handy double casting too. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Like fly, What's fly, and shit like that. All right, the whip and or the chain and the uh, mace. What's the difference? Uh, I'm not sure because I haven't looked at the stats directly right now. I haven't, I haven't looked at the chat stats for a spike chain in a long time. I used to use an Amish flick mace, but haven't been there in a while either. What what does it have like the reach? I guess ability. Uh, so an, an Amish flick mace uh, looks like a normal fucking. Uh, one-handed mace to start with, except mm -hmm. it's got a button on it, and when you push the button, it uh, doubles in length and becomes a reach weapon. Oh, yeah. And it requires two hands. Oh. What? Nope. Fly it's fishing with a heavy floppy. weight on it. It ain't floppy, it's telescopic normally, but, like, <laughs> it's, that's, that's what they're saying. Use the stats for that for Trevor's because that's essentially what the uh, the Belmont's uh, chain sword would be. Not to mention, I could just use a uh, mythic point to echo spell too. <laughs> it's like fly fishing with a heavy weight. Not really. Okay, but... spells. You only get five feet extra reach. That's oh, not fly fishing. Okay. Okay. As in swinging it around, Zog. Oh, jeez. As in, I go into a casting class that I can get Warhammer to zip you around. Or, gravity hammer. Enemy hammer. A uh, uh, meteor hammer? Sure. Oh, you want to use the enemy hammer feet? Yeah. Or spell, rather? On Zuck. Okay. While he's holding okay. a big war hammer. Wouldn't do anything beneficial. You want right. you want a big enemy. So you're supposed to use enemy hammer on an enemy. Because you're also doing damage to whatever you're swinging. This temporary hit points can oh take Jesus. it. Oh my Jesus. The Belmont sword, it's not a fucking... It's a meteor hammer, Nathan. Okay. It's, it's... I've never really looked into it that much. It's a meteor hammer? What's the... So if you're taking a long rest, you will heal... Each of you will heal 14 <laughs> points from just resting. Right. And then I am you guys need to figure out yeah, uh, how to heal up no another 180-some hit points. I will prepare a, a pillar of life and set that down when we get up from the long rest. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can do that too, but I can also I heal for 8 here. 87, now I'll heal the rest of it. Uh, from long rest. You keep okay. touching it and get 2d8 plus 14 for 14 rounds. Alright, so we'll just uh, hold on. Uh, 196 hit points worth of healing without the 2d8, so you'll all be up to max. Hit points. But you'll have to spend a whatever Six. the what level spell is that? Six level spot. Alright, so you're gonna be down How a six level spell. Yep. Zog is down a hundred and eighty hit points. Yep, okay, we're gonna you're gonna have to do that because I can't fucking heal that much. <laughs> I just used up, your light wounds left. I just used a bolt's fast heal to top him off. Sure. I meant I'm 50 out of 98. You can top off. Yeah. So uh, everybody's going to be at a hundo. We'll, we'll, we'll do the fucking the, uh, pillar, of life. Thing, pillar and we'll be good. 
pillar pillar of healing. Yep. All right. So as you guys rest, you butter. barricade yourselves in this room, yep. and it is eerily silent, as if there's no activity at all within the castle. You know, I'm gonna get someone to eat real quick. First person I hear that from gets mm -hmm. smacked with a fucking gravity hammer. Mm. What? Oh yeah. Oh god, I hit that. Fucking zog. What? What is a gravity hammer? What I think it is. I think he means a meteor hammer, but no, no, a gravity hammer. It's where I take Zog's biggest fucking hammer and I double its weight and drop it on your head. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> That sounds good. No, 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 that, that's the gravity axe. Pass enemy object, I take his hammer and I smash himself in the head with it. And then I turn it into a snake, and then it bites him. Yeah, you might like that too much. runs off behind a rock with the snake. Anyway, I go I go back, back before no we snake. before we rest Nathan, I go back to the uh the cell and uh invite her to camp with us or you know to to, to uh stay with us to you know for protection Okay. I'm not gonna go find her token, but she'll do that. She's not gonna just stay in a yeah. cell. Might be safer. I'm hoping she stayed in the cell while we were fighting that thing. Didn't yeah. Off on us, but... Well, she probably didn't wander far, but I'm sure she got out of the bloody cell. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Okay, so long rest, uh, eerily silent, but no uh, dangers? Correct. Okay. I unbarricade us out of the room with the transmute. Because right. I'm transmuting a fucking solid block across the door, not just fucking barricade with a dresser or some stupid shit. Sure. That's I can't make two things become one. You could just change something to another thing, sorta. I'm gonna start this day down a transmute, but that's okay. Cause I don't that's usually find myself using eight of the fuckers. Sure. Okay. So I'm at three level six. Okay, spells are reset. Make sure you reset your hit points. So gain back one point of strength. Get rid of my energy drain. It's two level six now. Restoration lesser gets real damaged, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to prepare one of those and finish off both strikes damage. It's only at one, so I shouldn't need to roll. Okay. Yep, you'll be fine. She, she only healed one, one, heal one naturally. worried about it. Only healed one naturally, right? Correct. Yeah, I got my strength modifier back. I'm also down by one, but I'm not that worried about it, really, because... Not worried about it. Yeah, but Bolt are also in combat more than you with strength. <laughs> That's still an extra plus one to hit and damage for me. <laughs> right. Okay, now we're back on the downstairs map. Yep. So eventually you find this other stairwell where there's a secret door blocking. Oh, okay. It's, it's the last stairwell you haven't explored. You enter into a cozy bedroom. There's a curtain drawn across 
that is built into like a natural cavern type thing. These are stone walls and everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess it is up to you guys what you want to do. You're in here. You do hear the sound of like water lapping and stuff on the other side of this big leather curtain that is drawn across uh, on the left hand side of the room here. So like this wall that you guys The wall that, that has a door symbol on it? Yep. Uh, perception checks? <laughs> yeah, perception. Uh, I mean, you hear the sound of lapping water, you hear the sound of people conversing. Want me to check it for traps? Have we gotten near everybody yet? You have not. Didn't think so. Because he got the fuck away, right? Well, he went to his inner sanctum, which... This looks a whole lot like an inner sanctum. Mm -hmm. It's this panic room. <laughs> More or less. I, 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 I would like to uh, begin this by uh, touching the leather curtain. Okay. And transmuting it to shreds. Let's go ahead and roll some initiative. What the fuck is that? Is that Noni? Oh, you, you were here when we fought Avidash? No, he showed up just in time to take off, like, all the little wimpy guys who are left. No, that would be a fun race to play as. Oops, I had to run that one. He's don't break a roll like shit. Come on, roll good. Sixteen ain't bad. It's not good either. But... All right, we got Thorin Stonebreaker. Coming. Unfortunately, oh. right now, Avanash and Angela is still first. You can't just click on your name. You gotta click on your token. Okay. Is that a Naga? Kind of looks that way. There's all kinds of stuff going on down here. All right. So, so we they have a pool Avanesh party. Right? We've seen him before. Yep. Stormbreaker right. can see King Crustuccio Uravetti over there. We recognize him. So this is Nothing what this... we don't recognize. That middle thing. That is not quite a Naga, but it is. Oh, dog! How many beers? I'm sorry, I clicked it off. Could you show that again? Maybe? Okay. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> so no, this is like, what... like three times waiting for it to come up, so that would just immediately go away, because I don't want to see it again. Is that the Naga's creator? Uh, There's no way for you guys to know pretty much any of that, but... All right. Uh... Guy is up first. I'm a uh, of something. Not a basilisk. Fucking samurai's up first. I know. Yep. I'm gonna start off by casting haste. I thought you guys would necessarily know that it was haste, but... I, I'm sorry, I cast haste all the damn time. I would recognize haste. And that's a 20 to identify it. Yeah, you probably identify it. I don't remember what the DC is, but sounds right. It's a spell that I cast all the fucking time. I don't remember. All right, next up is Engeldus. Let me double check some abilities here. Fireball. Fuck your fireball, I can needle storm. That sounds badass. 
It's actually not as much damage as Fireball, but it's more hilarious. Is it? Yeah. All right. I'm going <laughs> to cast this on. Tell him, tell him I need you to make a reflex save. He's not the greatest, but we'll give her a shot. Where are her defenses? Jesus Christ. All right. Wow. I need everybody else to make a reflex save with a plus two bonus. Oh, gross. This is some sort of chain spell. Chain fucking lightning, probably. Yep. <laughs> Don't I get a miss? No, there's no mischance for this. This is a save. Don't I have evasion? Well, yeah, but that's still a save. You still have to save. Evasion means if you save, you take nothing. And if you fail your save... Uh, you still take uh, full damage. I don't you think... Said... He, have, he doesn't have improved evasion yet, right? Uh, improved evasion is a rogue talent he would have to take. An advanced oh, rogue it? talent, even. Yep. Let's see. So I got... Talon failed. So Rigger got a 24, Thor got a 27. Thor saved. Zog got a 17. Zog fails. Stonebreaker saves. Got a 28, Bolt got a 30. Kalen got a 31. Alright, Kalen, you'll take no damage. Good. Don't want to take uh, no Talon, you take 38 points of electricity damage. Holy shit. And everybody else yeah. takes... 18, uh, saved? it's uh, half of what Talon takes. So yeah, because, But then if we saved, we take half again, right? No. If Talon saved, and then you, you all saved, you'd take quarter. But because Talon saved, didn't save, you'd get the full brunt of it passed on to you. So you take oh, half. Okay, okay. So we take as much as Talon does unless we save. Got it. Yep. Uh, so everybody who saved takes 19 points of damage. 19 points of electricity damage. Uh, 19. No. Zog failed. Zog takes Zog damage. failed. Zog, you take all 38 points of electricity damage. God damn, Zog. Talon also took 38 points of electricity damage. Uh, Ah, uh, Baylor. Okay. You know, Baylor, I would say use your slowing mud to counteract their haste, but they're in the fucking water. I don't think it's going to help that much. Yeah, I don't know. Mechanically, it might not matter, but environment-wise, yeah, it might be a little bit of a problem. Well, uh, no, just they'd be able to get rid of the whole fucking thing in one turn. Just fall just, back into the water. <laughs> pool party. Could you turn the water into ice? Anybody? Nope. Don't have that ability. That would have been nice. Color of life is a good one. I do have a fun ability, though, that I'm going to use. Color of life is death points. Okay. Oh, I guess it depends on what your ability does, because I don't actually have one. Let me change that. What's the casting time of this? I'm going to spend a round casting a spell. All right. Uh, bolt. Crocodiles? No, something new. Ooh, new. I like new. I'm going to put bolt on defense. Well... Put Bolt in the defense in the front line and hold the line, Bolt, and he's also going to be going to defense mode as he's holding as we prepare and get the situation under control. All right. Kellen, you're up. Kellen, do what you do best. Fighter Bolt. Right, where are you going to center it? 
uh, where it can get. Could it get all three? Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, definitely do that. You can just fucking center it on the center of Englandus, and it'll get all three of them and miss bolt. Yep, right there. So that's where you blop it. It'll hit all three. All right. I let's see. Mm-hmm. All right. So a reflex save. Uh, the king saves, so he'll take half, which is 34, 17. 17 points of fire damage. Uh, Does my alchemy go any, or my, that feat do anything? You have to say that right <laughs> You get, have to tell me you're going to be doing that, but. Okay. Uh, it doesn't just naturally what? happen. It's extra things that you can do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. What's it called again? The feet? Uh, uh, magic, magic trick. trick. Fireball. Okay. Check that out. That'd be great. 17 points of fire damage. I don't see any fire resistance or anything. Okay. And then for Avashlung. He'll save for all right. Next up is King Garavetti. Uh, just a second. Uh, uh... As a move action, I'm going to go ahead and inspire some courage amongst my allies. Hold on, I got to add this buff to. If my people, uh, uh, there's my pencil. I need that for this one. <laughs> you know the spell, Eric. It just hasn't been used this campaign yet. I, we've talked about it before. <laughs> okay, that's that. And then, as a standard action. Let's see, probably could do a spell or something. No, nope, don't have any of that level. Uh, slashing weapons today. Caster level. Well, I'm going to your fireball sets everything. Yep. Uh, then he is going to cast uh, a spell on himself, and you see he, like, Kind of shifts in and out. Those of you who are familiar with spells, probably easily enough, identify it as displacement. Are you going to do haste, Eric? Uh, Zog. Alan, I sent you uh, the what you can do with your feet in uh, Discord. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you're gonna move up. That will provoke an attack of opportunity. With my giant fucking great sword. That is a 34 to hit. Uh, well. Not ag that'd be against the damage, not against the attack roll. All right, so then you will take a total of 26 points of damage as he just smashes his great sword into you. Okay. 
tell him, you know what we really need? Nope. Nope, you don't have any buff spells at all. We have not buffed yet. I think the Talon should start off with a debuff, though. That also buffs us. Okay. Alright, you're power taking, you're raging. Crisp. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll do. For 46 points of damage. Alright, uh, Stonebreaker is up. We're gonna just uh, start off with a four on attack against Avanash. Sounds good. It's a 37 and a 29. Wait a, a little... second. You got something going on. Uh, I do have something going on right now. Yeah, you're... Didn't... You got gravity both still. So just roll d8, two d8s. Well, hang on, because I also didn't enable my third attack, and he's up to an 11 now, uh, BAB now, so. Ah, all right. Just re-roll, I guess, then. Enable my third attack, change it back to d8, which it should be currently. Okay, there we go. Oop, that wasn't the roll that I wanted to do. That was... You know what? We'll wrap a shot. Why not? Okay. 19 misses, 20. or 20 misses, 15 misses, 32 will in fact hit. For 14 plus 4 fire. Uh, that's still rolling 2d6. What? I, ch I fucking changed it. Why did it? It didn't recalculate? Okay, well, I'll just roll the fucking d8. So d8 plus 2, it appears. Plus f Four fire damage. Uh, well, it should be more than a D8 plus two because it should be. So, well, the damage you rolled is 2D6 plus two. So. Oh, because I, I don't have. Didn't. Okay, I didn't have that enabled. Yeah, we're fine. Four damage. So, five plus fire damage. So, nine total points of damage. Because I uh, did not have deadly aim and I uh, tell him. Okay. I'll activate prayer. You're going to want to step forward to the curtain. Otherwise, you're not in range of any. There we go. All right, and prayer. Nice, nice. Always appreciated. You know what we haven't had a lot of this campaign? Clerics. You mean like opposing clerics? Yeah, no. Yeah. Which is fine. It's just. Oppo opposing clerics suck to fight. <laughs> if they're fully buffed. Yeah, yeah, any or, characters really suck to fight. Any or character can, fully buffed sucks. Or they can teleport at will. Yeah. Mm. Alright, uh, tell him you moved your cast prayer. Thor. Okay, we're gonna do a whole bunch of shit. Uh, we're gonna start off with haste. Yay! Right. Uh, that'll get everybody in the party? Yep. So everybody is hasted. Then we're going to uh, swift action, use Stonebreaker's <laughs> Residence to give everybody flaming weapons. All right, everybody adds a d6 flaming damage if they don't already have it. Does that count if you don't have a weapon out? Your weapon will still get the ability once you draw it, but all your weapons now gain the flaming property. 
So, so uh, it won't stack with what you already have, though, if it's already flaming. Uh, energy or uh, energy strike is natural attacks and weapon attacks made by allies within thirty feet of shooters having the same weapon property granted to the companion, which is flaming. All right. Well, both have already has flaming, so. Right. Well, yeah, but if anybody were like you know punching mm -hmm. or something, that would still apply. Okay. Because unarmed strike is still considered a natural attack. Uh, all right, and then uh, finally, move action. I'm going to draw out my double hack butt. Okay. And hmm. take a five foot step back Excuse over here. All right. Next up is Avanash. I'm going to five foot step back. I take it that water isn't very deep. Well, you're also a giant. <laughs> Uh, he seems to be walking on top of it. Okay. Really? Is Zog walking on water, or is he falling in? Zog is not. Okay. Hmm. I will need a will save from both Zog and Bolt. Ooh, that was a good roll for ball. <laughs> you only rolled a 16, though. I got an 18. All right. Next up is Ingabitabitus, which she also seems to be, like, floating above the water. Um... I don't want to keep spamming that spell. That's boring. You want you want to have some fun, Thor? Oh, I'm gonna have some fun. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Uh, he turns invisible. Clever girl. What a sneaky inch. What the hell is going on? Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Baylor, your spell.